Howdy, howdy folks. A-Train here with you for a new episode and a new season of Farming Simulator 22. Now available on Steam from Giants Software. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Hope you'll uh, enjoy the video. Give us a like, share with your friends, let them know about the channel, help us keep growing, and uh, subscribe for more great content coming soon. Also turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. So, we are going to uh, jump on to the Greystone Farm, North Carolina map. Now, I've had a poll out for a couple of days. The voting's been pretty even, with it actually being one vote more for county line. I'm going to counterman that vote, because if I cast a vote for Greystone, then it balances out. But, here's the thing. All right, we've played 100 hours of county line on FS19 recently. Um, and there's a difference between the small fields of Greystone County, uh, Greystone Farm, and County Line, as you know, okay? The economies of scale are very different, whereas the smallest fields, fields on County Line are equivalent to those on Greystone. You could add several of the, a bunch of the fields up, 10 to 20, maybe 30 of the fields up, on Greystone and not even touch the bigger fields on County Line. So what that to me creates in the economy of scale is you're using, we're using the bigger equipment and have much bigger time frames for projects. The money is much bigger. The equipment is much bigger. The fields and yields are much bigger on County Line. And that I think is going to lend itself more to doing some recording and editing, fast editing through, you know, processes and whatever, than Greystone, which is quicker, because you're only harvesting 2 to 10, 15 acres. Okay, so that's my thought process here. Now, your comments are welcome in the description, but essentially what I'm doing is trying to look at a compromise. We're going to do both. We're going to start with Greystone uh, Farm, North Carolina in part because it's based on a real place. Okay, so um, let me just get this, go, go away. All right, get this positioned here, this positioned here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some Google map imagery so we can get you oriented to where we are because this is based on a real place. Now, there's some modifications made mainly because the place is really just all farms and churches. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is in this part of northern North Carolina and Rockingham County. So uh, well, I'm going to show you where the nearby cities are and um, just kind of give you a bit of reference. And then you'll see how they use the real map to uh, to come up with the, the game map, okay? Uh, also, your comments uh, on the uh, the new title screen. I think it's kind of pretty are more than welcome. Actually, the dude in the tractor kind of looks strikingly a bit like me, just with more hair and less body. Um, yeah, so um, notice I cleverly uh, also hid the uh, Massey Ferguson logo on uh, on the sweatshirt there, so um, I thought that was kind of kind of smart. Anyway, all right, so let's jump in here and let's look at the map in the real world of Rockingham County, North Carolina, where this is located. Right, let me get this off the screen. So here we are, all right? You can see Greystone Farm down here, and I'm not sure, I'll see this when it comes up in a second. I think I've turned it on so you'll actually see my cursor on the screen, which may be annoying at times. I'm gonna try to keep it out of the way, and I may jump into OBS and turn it off at times. Um, but there have been times I've been telling you guys stuff and I really needed my cursor on the screen because I'm sitting there like drawing stuff out. Ah, you can see the cursor. Good. All right. <laughs> it just came up on my laptop. So I needed that confirmation there. All right. So uh, Rockingham, North Carolina, uh, Rockingham County, North Carolina is the name of the place. There is a city of Rockingham, North Carolina. It's actually in the southern part of the state. This is in the northern part of the state. The Virginia border is like 10 miles north of here. So if we scroll back and pan up a little bit, you'll see there's a couple of cities nearby. Um, let me see here. If I turn this over to the map layer. 
uh, there's Reedsville to our south. And then there's uh, Eden to our northwest. So they're connected by this road 14, whatever that is. It doesn't look terribly impressive because 87 looks bigger. Okay. So this area of the map where it says Greystone Farm, Oregon Hill, that is our area. That's the map. All right. I'm just trying to let you see. Now, you can see there's the Virginia border. Okay. And that is about, if I'm looking at the, uh, down here at the um, legend, it's about six miles north, I'm thinking. And if you go just a little bit north, you'll actually see there's Danville. So that's that's actually a pretty good size. So this place isn't in the middle of nowhere. It's within five miles of two cities, and they have like Walmarts and stuff. And then there's Danville, uh, Virginia, which is, seems to be even bigger. But also right up the road a piece. Where is it? 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 Just right here. There. Martinsville. What's significant? Martinsville Speedway. That's where NASCAR was this past weekend. So that's what we're looking at. All right. So we're looking at a real place. Legit deal. Now, you noticed here, look here carefully on the map. <laughs> so here's Greystone Farm. And we're going we're gonna to go down to street level so you can actually see. I mean, it, it, this thing's modeled pretty accurate. All right. <laughs> there's, there's Macedonia Primitive Baptist Church. I don't know what that means. Freedom Baptist, Mark Car Mount Carmel United Methodist Church, Chapel Hill Progressive Primitive Baptist Church. I mean, it's it's all churches and farms, all right? Now, over here at Oregon Hill, this is just off the edge of the map. There's French's Country Corner Country Store, and there's a Sitco station, okay? Now, right here where Mount Carmel Methodist Church is at Grant's, Grant, yeah, Garant Springs Road and Mount Carmel Church Road. That's where the maker of the map actually put the shop and the uh, bin. Um, so you can sell. The, the, that's your selling point on the map, effectively. All right. So, um, yeah. All right. So let's switch it back to satellite view. And again, so you can see the map. All right. Cuts off. So here's Mount Carmel United Methodist Church. It cuts off just before we get to this. You can see the Sitco and the Oregon, at this intersection over here at Oregon Hill of 1925 and whatever this other road is, but it's not labeled and you can't, there's nothing there. So uh, he's got the shops and the grain bin here at Mount Carmel United Methodist Church location. Uh, so there's a place to sell crops and what have you. And then there's Horse Barn over here off 1941. Uh, and we come down Mount Carmel Church Road. Uh, there's several others. 1943 is 1941. Then we go 1980. Freedom Baptist Church is on the map. And then it comes over here east of that. And there's a farm here with some greenhouses, which it looks like there's a farm with some greenhouses. Okay, cool. Um, and then there's an animal dealer here in this area. And then back over here is the ranch. And you'll see this is uh, this is what it looks like. I've walked the property. Uh, and there's a little lake back here. Uh, this is set up for uh, horses. Okay, this is, a, you can see a riding corral here. And then there's some fields. Although I don't think they have actual fields attached to it in the game. There are fields. Now, this complex here is when you play the easy mode, the farm, uh, the, the new farmer mode, this is where you actually start and you own this property of, of facilities here. And I have no idea what the hell these are, but he's modeled them. I just have no idea. It's almost like they're climate controlled containers laid out off the edges of these buildings. There's some over here too. All right. So, and then you have some fields back up in here. And this is the edge of the map, kind of this road here that you see that splits these fields. It's really weird how this is set. Well, no, it's not quite like that. It's, it's a little more here is the edge of the map because there's this field and this field. There's one more here, and then there's like two little ones, and then there's a little strip down the edge. 
And I, when I initially started goofing with this, I think I combined all three of those into one big field. You wind up dealing with the edge of the map there, though, and it's kind of a pain. So, yeah, so that's, that's part of the map. Um, this field here is accurately modeled, including this little drainage area through here. And then there's a field here. There's a field here. I think there's actually three fields here. Um, and then I think we're down at the southern edge of the map along here. So uh, we'll look at Tobacco Drive, Greystone Farm. Uh, this is a big grass field. And then there's a little lake. And then there's a house over here with a loop and, and all this. And there's a couple fields associated with it. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's drop down to street level. And again, this is Google Maps, so they get credit for whatever. Um, let's actually go right over here at this intersection. And you'll be able to see. There's a sign right here. It says Greystone Farm. Okay. And you see there's the, the paddock or the riding arena, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the horse barns, the sign is there. Uh, and then there's this farm over here with grass and horses. And then the facilities that you start with if you play this in easy mode are here on the right. The houses don't look this nice, though. They look kind of jank. Uh, in fact, they look very jank. Um, but you have the fields here on the left, which that, if not mistaken, that looks like tobacco, which wouldn't surprise me because it's North Carolina. Um, but this is the facility you, you, well, yeah, look, tobacco drive. Mm, imagine that. Uh, but yeah, this is the, this is the home that you start with in easy mode. Hello, Vincent. Welcome aboard. How are you today? So... Yeah, there's uh, there's that, and then uh, what we'll do actually is just kind of zip. So that's Greystone Farm, that's the namesake of the map, and um, then let's pull it back up to two D. Let's pull it back up to two D, and then we'll go up nineteen eighty, and you can kind of see how the fields. Oops, wait, let me turn the map this way. Uh, Mount, Mount Carmel Church Road, nineteen forty one, split off. There's a property right here. You'll see how this works. This is basically off Hampton Road here. This is, I think, the biggest field on the map. Um, and you'll see that in a minute. And then, yeah, Hampton Road goes up this way. And you see how there's a bunch of little fields. And they're all separated. There's like tractor paths between them. There's somebody actually working the field right there. And that looks like an old school tractor, too. I wonder what they're doing. Um, there's little lakes here and there. There's a horse deal here. You can see there. there's a uh, riding arena. Uh, it looks like it's configured for barrel racing. You see the three black dots? That looks, I think, that they may be practicing barrel racing there. And then it looks like there's a training area over here for horses and what have you. But all these little fields are, are dot the area, and there, there's trees and what have you. And then there's Mount Carmel United Methodist Church, which is not there. So, all right, you guys got a feel for the map now. This is kind of, this is our AO, all right? It's our area of operation. There's like 60 fields on it. Animal dealers down here, Freedom Baptist, Greystone Farm. There's a horse farm. Uh, bins, uh, several of the farms have diesel uh, on board, so you don't have to go buy gas. And um, we cut off at the corner up here at Oregon Hill that intersection there, the sick goes not on the map or what have you, which is unfortunate because it would make sense for Frenchie's Corner Country Store to actually be somewhere you would sell stuff. So I feel like maybe they cut that just a little bit short. They could have gone just a touch bigger. and But then again, maybe there's a limitation in the game I don't understand. So the problem gets to be, this is it. It's farms and churches, Okay. So again, unless you're going up to, oh, by the way, this, this strip across here, across the middle of the map, I thought maybe it was railroad. It's not. It's power lines. It's a right away for power lines. Okay. So when you see that on the map, you'll know what it is. Um, and then this is here as well, I believe. Yep. 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 Yeah. So there's no trains in this area. So uh, in fact, the nearest railroad, maybe this over here. Nope. That's power lines. Uh, so, all right. So you have to go up here to um, Sheets. 
<laughs> it's a convenience store. <laughs> to Eden, this is this is the city of Eden. And it's right on the border with Virginia, or right close to it. Uh, or you go south down here to Reedsville, and you can see there's a Lowe's, there's a Walmart, Dollar General. You know, there's there's places down there. Um, I mean, look at all the little farms over here. This is North Carolina, but look at churches and farms. <laughs> the the only the only thing I would look at is. And, and where the guy picked to, to do the map, there's just nothing there. There are no, there's nowhere to sell stuff, not really much place to buy stuff. So I would think maybe you would position something. I mean, he kind of, you know, just, he took out Mount Carmel United Church, put it in the shop, put it in a grain bin, and we'll go through that in a second. So let's, let, let's cut the, cut the goober stuff on here and actually switch over to the game and launch into it. And uh, I'll show you guys. You'll see how real the map looks. All right. All right, here we go. So uh, this is that. Uh, wow, is that really loud? That's really loud. You guys let me know how the volumes are so I can make adjustments and stuff. Oh, you got to go. All right, well, nice seeing you, Vincent. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you'll, you'll come back and catch the, uh, the uh, later version of the stream. All right, let's hit the map. All right, so we are down here. Okay, right here. And what's nice about FS22 is it shows you where you are on the map, which the other one did too. But it also shows you where all your vehicles are. And it shows them running around on the map and everything. So this is the uh, this is Greystone Farm right here in front of us. All right. Now, if we click on farmland, this is Greystone Farm. Okay. And then this is Tobacco Road here. And this was uh, this was that tobacco field, I think, 85. Now um, yeah, some of these are clustered together. So like if you buy this property, $27,000, you get three fields, 62, 63, 64. You buy this thing for 32, you get 66 and 65. Uh, this is, see, see what I was talking about? The, the fields being cut off and you get this little dingy thing, 59, 57, 58, 60, all that stuff. And you're messing with the edge of the map. And when you start in beginner farmer mode, you get this property here. And you get these fields, these fields, and these fields. That's all the property you have. So this is $115,000. That's another $29,000. You know, that's another thirteen. dollars So, you know, $115,000, $145,000. Let's say we're up to $160,000 plus $70,000. So you're at about $220,000 worth of, of property. Okay. Uh, to start with, but the location is kind of meh because it's the very edge of the map. Now, I don't know why this is all lit up over here like this. Why is that all lit up over there? Oh, I know why that's lit up over there. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Uh, because... I started this in last night to just get started. All right. So um, let's go to map overview. Now you see there's a vehicle. Here's the store. All right. So this is where the, the church is, the Methodist church. And you can see there's a grocery Y-Mart, which buys stuff. And then there's a GCHB uh, grain elevator. Okay. So now if we go to this. You'll see you have a place to sell all the all the crops, all right? Your wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, grapes, olives. Olives seem to be doing pretty popular. Sunflowers even more popular. Soybeans even more. Your corn, potatoes, blah. Sugar beets, blah. Sugar beets cut, blah. Cotton. There is no no place to sell cotton. Okay. I, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can buy a, something if, if, you know, we find an interest in wanting to do cotton. I haven't done cotton yet. And I'm not really interested in it because it's so expensive. The equipment is so expensive. Sugar cane, they'll buy that. Um, but see, there's no selling point for things like eggs and milk. Okay. And that to me is where that corner market could have made a difference. Um, that would have created that. Or 
there could just be a selling point, and maybe we'll establish one, where maybe a truck comes once a week or twice a week to pick up stuff and take it to Eden or to uh, Danville, Virginia, or, you know, one of those three surrounding cities that are less than 10 miles away, right? Does that make sense? To me, it makes sense that you have a way to take these goods to market, even though there's no market in the little podunk location where you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, That's what we're looking at as far as the economics go. Now, uh, we do have a place to sell silage. The animal dealer will take silage. Uh, there's nowhere to sell wood chips. Silage, grass, hay, and straw, which, again, strikes me a bit odd because there's, well, the, the animal dealer's down in the southeast corner of the map. Now, there's gas is the same. It says gas stations. It's basically everybody's little diesel thing. But there's nowhere, uh, Grocery Walmart will buy stuff if we go through the production chains, okay? So if we make, if we set up a bakery, there are some greenhouses on the map. Um, and there's nothing saying, I guess we couldn't build some of our own, right? Uh, fabrics, so we, if we do s supply chains, there is a place to buy them or sell them. Uh, there's no selling point for honey, which that seems odd. Again, it would make sense if that little market were up there. So we may set up a sale place up in that corner of the map for the grocery store. And even though it's not a very big grocery store, and the assumption will be either they're buying it there at Frenchie's or uh, a truck is picking it up and taking it to Danville up the road. Uh, cereal sells at Grocery Weimar, Sunflower Oil, and Canola Oil. So, yeah. So that's something about this uh, this version of the game, FS22, with your, your supply chains. So bread, for example, you have flour. Well, how do you get flour? You grow wheat, and then you take it to a flour mill. The flour mill makes the turns the wheat into flour. Well, then you got flour. Okay, great. Well, what are you going to do with it? Well, you can take it to a bakery, which then turns it into bread. And then you can sell the bread. Notice how expensive the bread is, as opposed to just the flour, as opposed to just the wheat. See how that works? That's your supply chains here in FS22. So wheat converts to flour, converts to bread. Or you could use it into something like cake, which you got to bring in. Then you got to bring in like sugar and fruit strawberries i think and butter okay so there's a place to buy this stuff i mean you can sell it uh here on 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 the map i still understand why they don't or why they're not taking honey because i guess you could have bees and stuff but it's got pretty much everything else grape grape juice lettuce tomatoes you grow tomatoes and strawberries and lettuce in a greenhouse now there's no no market for wood planks or furniture there's a market for well there's not a whole lot i mean i guess there's some trees on the map but what you'd have to do is build a sawmill cut down trees eat your lunch and take wood to the sawmill and they would make it into wood planks well then you would transport the wood planks to a furniture uh produce produ factory i guess that's the word i'm looking for and now that is realistic now it's not necessarily for this spot in north carolina but there is uh they do produce furniture in north carolina so there's that there's no selling point for any of the other stuff okay all right so uh enough of this here let's actually jog over here to the street and you'll see across the street it looks like corn is planted now, what's funny here is because we're so close to the edge of the map, if a car comes along and there's a car coming along, there's the edge of the map right there. I mean, that's it. And you'll see this car 
disappear off the edge of the map. Now the map maker didn't do this, and somebody who made the um, one of the other maps made an interesting point that he runs trains across it. Now watch the car. See the car still? See the car still? See the car just whip around? And now the car is coming back the other way. All right, so that's an interesting little element to this, is there is space off the edge of the map. And what the guy did on, I think it was the Griffin, Indiana map, is he ran the train tracks out and made a big loop and then had them come back so that the train so that the train wasn't doing what these cars are doing which is just immediately turn around and then they're right back in your way they go somewhere and then they eventually come back on the map later at some random point so you don't have it i mean geez it seems to be a busy day on the map here um all right so let's jog over here and you're going to see here's the uh here's the riding paddock all right and here is a faithful replication of the Greystone Farm. Okay? And they took out the last two digits of the phone number. So, I mean, apparently someone didn't know you just put 555 in front of it. Or, you know. Um, and that makes it work. Country Bandit. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome aboard. So, you can see there's, this is very faithfully reproduced from Greystone Farm in Rockingham County, North Carolina, which NASCAR note, Rockingham, the city of Rockingham, which is not in Rockingham County, but it's all the way at the southern part of North Carolina. That's where the old Rockingham Speedway was for NASCAR. So, yeah, this is NASCAR country. All right, let's beam over, thank you, to the dealership. And here's our beautiful blue Chevy pickup truck. I really ought to get Chevy on board as a sponsor because, yeah, now, I think I goofed something up here. In fact, I know I goofed something up. I am pretty sure I goofed something up. Let me um, jump in. No, not that. Let me jump in. All right, so here's the, here's the shop. This is where the Methodist Church would be. Now, we're going to back up here because I, I'm pretty sure I'm in the, in the radius of it. But, um, but, yeah, here's where you can click on the shop. I don't know what that sound is, but it's weird. All right, you can customize. Okay, customize. Okay, why? I'm missing something because... I'm, like right in the space to I would think repair the vehicle and the reason I want it's not that I need to repair the vehicle because I bought it new but darn it I just jumped back in <laughs> oops R ah here we are cool let's uh let's go into customize um oh nuts I can't duh. Wah, 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 fail I forgot this is a mod I can't change the license plate for it <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I didn't want this stupid New York license plate. Um, so anyway, this is my 2017 Silverado Chevrolet 1500 regular cab, 355 horsepower V8 engine. Uh, we got a bull bar on the front, uh, snow plow hookup on the front, uh, key, color keyed uh, front bumper with fog lights. Uh, we've got a bed liner and a trailer hitch, dual exhaust, all terrain. Very nice, nice truck. Okay. I like it. All right. So, and again, guys, let me know if the volume's okay. I don't want it to be too loud. So, let's jump in and let's jump back to the map. All right. So, here's the map and here's where we are. We are at the Methodist Church and Farm Implement Store and Grain Elevators. <laughs> hey, Vark4 Studios, welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, all right. So, and, and you can see, here's that little corner of the map that would be the Sitgo. That road is just off the edge of the map right there. All right, so as you can see, and as I was telling you, field 29 looks like the biggest field on the map. It may It's between it and 36, I think. That's 14.69 acres. It's 14.73 acres. 
So there's, you know, $134,000. Now, but a lot of these are clustered together, okay? So this up here, that's a cluster. You know, you got cluster here, cluster here. Then you got some independent fields like 26 or 36 or 29. Um, there, this little deal here, I'm not sure what this is. Because it's like a bunch of little houses and then this field over here, which I'm not sure. Oh, that's where the animal dealer is. Okay, so I don't think we can buy that because if we try, yeah, that's where the animal dealer is. I don't think you can buy that. There's, I mean, this cluster here is nice. And I looked at it, um, but I was trying to find a place to put uh, the, um, put my facilities, right? Because if you just got farm fields, like, well, okay, I'm going to have to wipe out part of a field to, um, you know, put in my shops and stuff. And I say, hey, wait a minute. What about this place here? Well, this is owned and it's a grass field. It's just not, it, it doesn't have a number assigned to it. So, yeah, there's a number of properties on the map. Now, I purchased this cluster in here. Why did we pick that one, A-Train? Because it's centrally located between the uh, shop grain elevator and Methodist Church. And <laughs> and uh, then there's the, the, uh, the horse deal down here, Greystone Farm. And then there's the animal dealer down here where we can sell stuff. So we can sell stuff over here. Let me go up and back. We can sell stuff over here. There's uh, greenhouses over here. And then there's the shop, Methodist Church, and grain elevators up here. So um, let's head over to our little cluster here in the middle of the map, though, and see what's uh, hopping in. All right, let's do this. All right, I don't think I need the... Uh, mouse on anymore. So let me kick into this. Is that where I do this? I forget. Mouse cursor. Do, 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 do. Mouse. Council. Oh, wait. No, I think it's actually in the uh, YouTube settings. Is it in the YouTube set? I don't remember. Crap. Guys, sorry. That's uh, FS22. Where is the... Mouse. I'm just looking for where the... Ah, I'll hell with it. I'll turn it off for the next one. But that way at least you guys saw what I was pointing out on the map. So it may be a little annoying right now, but we'll, we'll work together and get over it. All right, so here's the grain elevator part, and this is the Y grocery store. And I guess the front here is the Methodist Church part, and then the back is the shop. <laughs> Fun little points such as car not disappearing. As a game developer, I can learn a lot from these very authentic gameplays. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I'm, I'd love to, like, do some map stuff and game development stuff, and, I mean... When I was a kid, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, in the 1980s, I thought I'd like to be a video game developer someday. Yeah, turn it down my way. Get the field, fool. Get, on, get yourself under control here. Yikes. Okay, uh, I'm out of control. I have not set my cruise control up yet. Let's, uh, oh, dude, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Let's keep the speed down here. We're going to stay at sublight. Okay, this is actually our property. Wait, is this our property? This is the edge. This is our property here. All right, so we're going to go down to the house side, and there's actually two houses on the property. And there's some kind of janky, somebody, somebody needs a, a paint business, a house painting business. Some of these homes need to be scraped and painted. It looks like somebody's closing on us or trying to draft on us. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to stop right here. Whew, now they got out of their way. Phew, that was close. All right. Uh, let me jump out here. and There's a sign. Is that the wind, or am I hearing airplanes? All right, so this is Mossy Pine Ranch, which may be the house which is right down the way here. So we're actually going to go check that out, because this is now our property. Something I also want to tell you guys. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate that. That's, that's very kind of you. 
and it's kind of fun. I, I got to actually have some input back in the day when uh, Sim Airport was coming together. So, and they, they adapted some of my ideas into the game, which was super cool. All right. Uh, and it would be nice, really, if they, you know, I could talk to Giants. And they could bring some of them into this, too. All right, so there's the little house. Um, I'm not sure which house. Actually, I'm not sure where we go to sleep or if that's part of the like F12 con commands. Uh, toggle super strength, flight mode, toggle HUD, add or remove money, save game. No, X to menu. Um, here, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. I have not made a side. I bought the truck. I bought the property. That's all I've done to set this up because I've watched some videos and I mean, if this is your jam, it's your jam. I get it. But people have seeded the map to set themselves up for success. Like, oh, look, we're starting a brand new farm. We have $7 million in the bank, and we have all the equipment we could ever possibly need. Wait, what? Or we're, we're starting with $0, yet we have, magically have exactly what we need to make money. And I don't know. It just seems, it seems fake, and I don't want to seem fake to you guys. Um, so let's shut this down for Maybe it's just a windy day. Or maybe it's just the environmental sounds. That's a little on the loud side. So let me um, kick in here and make a little adjustment. And here is what. Whoa, time scale three. Ugh, no, I want it in real time. Economic difficulty normal, traffic on, seasonal growth, yes. Days per month, put two days instead of one. Snow is on, crop destruction on, periodic plowing required. Field Stone, which is the cool new ad. There's a mod for it on 19. Um, oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's Yeah, I, I, I'd rather just play the game. I mean, if you want to set up a scenario, I get it. But at the same time, uh, it's like some of these videos on YouTube and on TikTok and whatever, where uh, they tried to, what was it? They tr stuck this woman in a giant balloon and they were filling it up with water or something, and they had it closed up around her. And then, and then they say, "Okay, go ahead and pop it." Wait, 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 wait. You know, it's all staged, and it just seems fake to me. And I'd rather be uh, authentic with you guys. John Deere tractor shorts. What's up, Europe? <laughs> Europe, get it? <laughs> no, actually, it's North Carolina. Uh, dirt's normal. Automatic engine start is off. Stop and go braking. Blah 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 blah. Uh, we got the AI refill stuff. Oh no, off. Maintenance cost. Okay, here's one change I've made, and I'll let me. And I think you guys can track me on this. I'm an ex-Air Force mechanic. I worked on C-130s back in the early 90s. Okay, an issue I have with the game, and if you watch my other videos, you'll you'll know how I feel about this. I feel the equipment breaks down too fast. It's ridiculous that you're plowing a field, or you're sowing a field, or you're you know working a field, and the harvester needs maintenance like every 20 minutes. That's just redonkulous, okay? So I've cut the maintenance interval down to 25%, all right? Maintenance cost is going to be the same, but I've reduced the interval because it it's, I think you could work a day or two without having to fix these things. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're brand new equipment. <laughs> that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. All right, it's settings maybe. We're all on the Imperial stuff. Um, and, 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 uh, here, here's the volume thing. Nope, that's camera stuff. Here's the volume stuff. All right, environment volume and vehicle volume. The only thing on the vehicle volume, I'm going to turn it down. I was, when I was goofing with this is um, the tractor sound wasn't very loud. When I was goofing with it, I had a nice little John Deere tractor because I got it on sale. Um, and it just wasn't that loud. The, the truck seems loud, but that just may be the mod fact. And I'm thoroughly disappointed we have no basketball. You know, if I, I was goofing around on the Bucks County, Pennsylvania map, and there's a house there that's really nice. James, hey, welcome aboard. Uh, can you get mods for PC on a laptop? I believe so. Um, you uh, just go on uh, the mod hub, either within the game, or type in a, a search engine mods for FS19, FS22, whatever variant you have. And it'll pull up some of the websites, including the Mod Hub website, which is the one that Giants is, 
actually approved uh, the stuff for. Can we pick these up? Let me act, wait, super strength. Let me go through the system on here. So this, this power tools is actually the replacement for the easy development mod or something like that, that people could use to go into flight mode and um, stuff like that. Super strength enabled. Now, can I move these? I don't, I don't have the hand to move. I guess not. No hand of God here. Anyway, so that other map. Oh, look. See, I can move the garbage can. Okay. Well, it's, it, it may be stuck. Hey, somebody just honked. The horn blows as a driver. Um, anyway, there was a house with a basketball goal. And there was a basketball. And you could pick up the basketball and shoot baskets. And it was really cool. This is a little disappointing. I wish you could get rid of the house and replace it with one you can go into or whatever. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. The map's really, really pretty. You look at the weeds and stuff around. So we're gonna need some mowing equipment so we can uh, mow the grass around here. Clearly, we're gonna need some tractors and stuff to put in these sheds. What is this over here? Oh, that's there's our diesel tank, okay? So we can gas up our vehicles right outside that window there. Uh, so this is just one shed and this, that door, oh no, it's just the angle. I was going to say, that, is this door ajar? Does the door even work? This is kind of like the shop. Which, wait, wait. Oh, that's, I, I can move the boxes or something, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take those out in the trash. So, I want to find something maybe um, that we can work on our equipment here. But the map's really pretty. And uh, just be careful and cautious. You should be fine. Oh, yeah, you're telling them about the, the mods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look for mods that have, like, a lot of people that downloaded them. That, to me, I think is the best thing you can do. Um, and just maybe see if there's uh, complaints or anything. Also, uh, the fresher the mod, like, if there's a, a, a 1.0.0 and then there's a 1.0.1 and 1.0.2, you know, look for the 1.0.2. Look for the most recent version of the mod. Um, oh, let me... Uh, let me turn this spawn object material. Okay. And you see super strength disabled. All right. So let's... All right. So this is the front part of the property. Now, I think we own these fields across from me. Or maybe we don't. Let me see. I, I think I can buy them. And I think they're cheap farmland. No, I do not own 45 and 46. Those are right there. And we can buy them. And then you can see the power lines going across. Them. See the power lines right there? And then that gap in the trees. So I showed you that on the map. That kind of cut the map in half. All right. So, okay. So we'll deal with this shed. Maybe we'll do a more modern one or something. All right. So we've got fields here. Now let's go back to the second house. So there's there's two properties that are kind of in one on the map here. And there's another shed back here, which uh, will work for some storage. And then there's another one over here. And then this has those little funky container thingies I was telling you about. Now here's what's interesting about them. Let's jump out and take a look. Um, they have kind of like a, I, I assume they're refrigerated because that's kind of the style latch you would have. But uh, I, it looks like there's some kind of venting. I would assume this is refrigerated, but I'm not sure. Because it looks like it, maybe it's meat smoker. Maybe they make bacon or something. I don't know. That's weird. But there's, there's exhaust. And then there's, in, I would guess, intake vents, and then I don't know what that is there. So maybe these are insulated cold storage, or maybe they're smokers? Yeah, I'm down up. All right, so there's the second house. Now, I'm not sure where exactly I go to to try to sleep. Oops, that's not the button I want. Can't, I don't think I can open the door here. Now they've got images of stuff inside, so you can see it looks like there's an interior to the house, which is kind of cool. So that would be the K 
kitchen, I guess, and what have you. Um, my only complaint, again, is I'm not sure where I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, but let's do this. Here's, here's something fun. All right, let me hit the uh, F12. Flight mode. Use J to toggle flight, Q and E to change altitude. So let's turn this off. J. And wait, 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 wait. Jump. 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 No. Let's try that. And jump. Woohoo! Yay, there's our property. So, yeah, you can see the truck down there and dun, 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 dun. All right, so there's a couple of little fields. There's a little farm. There's the uh, Methodist Church shop, uh, grain silos and Y store stuff. So, uh, and then over here is the, that's Greystone Farm right there in the middle of the screen and then that other facility. And then over that way, is the other church and then I think that's the animal dealer no that's the uh, that's the greenhouses the animal dealer is on the road so there's the, the church is actually right there so the animal dealer is right there okay so that's kind of how this looks all right but yeah this is our property here so we got like one two three four five six fields and then we can buy others and you can see there's a little gravel road network that actually connects them all, a bunch of them together. And I suppose we could cut down trees and eat our lunch just like our old papa. But uh, I don't think so. I don't think we can access this, uh, the area where the trees are. So, cool. Back down on terra firma. All right. We got super speed walking turned on? What the hell? Toggle, toggle super strength no flight mode disabled cool now we're walking oh okay so flight mode also puts you into like warp speed for running all right so now you've seen the map now you've seen the real place in in the world and everything else now we need to evaluate what we've got and what we need to do so this is our space now this specifically is where the houses are, the lake, and then the house here in the front, okay? We're here on the house in the back part, okay? And then there's the fields. So we got two grassy fields associated with 32. We got 31 is one big field, and then we got two more grassy fields up by um, the road, okay? So what to do, what to do? I think we're going to need a mower. Uh, I think we need to turn on store delivery. Special delivery. The question is where? I think this road right here is going to be a really nice place for us to set up shop, so to speak. Uh, I guess we can just use this, park some stuff in here. That's not bad. Um, deliveries. Deliveries. Do we want deliveries right here? I think. Um, okay, we zoom to the current address. What is the turn on store delivery stuff? You know what? We'll, I'll set that up next time. Let's jog over here and, yep, hey neighbor. Back over to our pick em up truck. I forgot my phone. Alright, let me get my phone and we'll call up Pete over at the store, Methodist Church store, grain silo, Y store, Y grocery. <laughs> That's going to be, a, I think, a running joke on this uh, on this map. All right, so we have a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of mods downloaded, all right, because I wanted to have equipment. Uh, now, interestingly, they did not, they do not currently have Voltra tractors in the game. But I anticipate, because there's Voltra clothing in the game, you can go and change your, your image, your icon, and all this stuff. Change your, your wardrobe. Okay. And so if you want, you can get Voltra stuff. Huh? Huh? But there's no Voltra tractors built into the game. 
So what I'm thinking is they're going to um, probably incorporate those later. You know what? It's August in the game. I don't need freaking be warm. Now I can select color. You can change colors and stuff. How cool is that? Yeah. Now I see an Alabama A. All right. Let's uh, let's select that shirt. Back. Okay. Uh, confirm. Okay. Cool. All right, so we won't be so hot. Uh, all right, we need some equipment. So there's animal dealer, wardrobe, blah, 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 blah. All right, so this is where the menu gets a little hinky. We go here for vehicles. We go here for trailers, right? Go here for stuffs. Go here for packs. Go here for what's on sale. All right, so what's on sale? This is the first thing to check. So no used vehicle mod, at least at this point. But what they did to incorporate was used vehicle sale. And you have a few things available. What in the holy crap is that? What is this? Yikes. That looks like some kind of chopper, upper, something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's uh, headers are attached to forest har forage harvesters. Okay. This is not, this is a harvester. This is a forage wagon. And then here's a header. So anyway, so we could save 52% on this top line or 4090 HTS, but it's a German model, and I'm going to pass on that. Um, yeah, I'm bummed that Vulture is not in the game, but I did download some of them. So we have Vulture tractors available. I'm going to try to go with American stuff. Here's the trick. Okay. John Deere, Case International Harvester, New Holland. Those are American brands. Um... Massey Ferguson was originally like a European brand, but it's part of Agco. Agco is the parent company to Voltra, Massey Ferguson, and Fent. So those three tractor brands all fall under Agco, which is why, in at least FS19, if you get um, the go in the harvesters and they've got the see massey ferguson ideal and then the fent ideal because the ideal is an agco development and they can brand it for either one hmm interesting huh bet you didn't know that a train's done some homework for you use guys to provide you interesting information all right so we've got a New Holland. Uh, we need a tractor first. What, it's, don't look at that stupid harvester. All right. Um, now, the small tractor I would look to get is the Voltra N124, but I'm going to try to stick with something more American. Uh, Massey Ferguson would be good because I like Massey Ferguson. I don't know why. Just do. Um, New Holland would work. The TM series, TS series. Let's just see what the, the... Now, there's a couple of requirements here. Front loader. And it's got to have some upgradable horsepower. Like engine set up here. We're at 124 horsepower up here on the left. Okay. And variable CVT, if you don't know what that is. CVT is continuously variable transmission. Okay. That's a development that came out of cars. Um, oh, yeah. It's very, very extensive. Uh, continually variable transmission. So if you're familiar with the transmission in a motor vehicle, you have a clutch, you have a rotating disc with a clutch plate, and then it engages different gears, physically engages the gears to go from you know neutral to first, second, third, fourth, whatever. Okay. A continually variable transmission, CVT, has two sets of kind of like pulleys but the sides are conical shaped and they can open up and close together. And in doing so, um, <laughs> New Holland, yeah. Now, I, New Holland is, uh, they because they have an association with Ford. So, yeah. Um, 
New Holland equipment. Yeah, let's just do a quick GTS here. Um, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. New Holland. Tractors. Um, all right, so CVT. So you've got these two cones that face each other tip to tip, okay? And then there's another pair of cones just like that, okay? Uh, New Holland is an American agricultural machinery manufacturer. New Holland agricultural products include tractors, combine harvesters, balers, forage harvesters, self-propelled sprayers, hang tools, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there you go. The internet says it's an American company. So there you go. Now, they have their, oh, you know what? It is, interestingly, their headquarters is in Turin, Italy. And their subsidiaries are versatile and Kongskild. Kong's Founder was Abe Zimmerman. Now the question is, who is Abe Zimmerman? Abe Zimmerman, birthplace, Minnesota. Minnesota. All right. So, yes, we're going to go with the fact with New Holland being American. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you know, right. New, New York was New Amsterdam. You're correct. I mean, look at, there's places all over the country that have goofy names like that. So, because America. All right. So, um, CVT. All right. So, there's not like, so like if you have a bicycle or a motorcycle, right? You have a chain that effectively runs the transmission. It, it, it gears from one size gear to another with a sprocket system, right? And it makes it go. And you can adjust the power through different sized gears. In motor vehicles, you have a, a clutch plate and you have a rotating uh, piece coming off the engine, a differential or something. I don't know how all that technically works, but then it engages the different plates for the different gears. The CVT has a band that goes between these two sets of variable um, cone shapes, okay? And so the cone gets smaller and then it gets bigger and then you can move how, where that engages the band and it changes the drive ratio just like on a bicycle if you go from the small stro sprocket on a 10 speed it's really hard to get going and then you go to the big sprocket <clears throat> when you're sailing down the road at warp speed right so there or, or vice versa whichever it is i haven't ridden a bike in a few years my bike's out on the balcony gathering pollen um but that's how the CVT works, all right? So it's, it's and you can look it up and you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. It's, it's kind of a couple of conical shapes and the position of those cones in relation to each other changes the size of the gearing, air quotes, gearing, in, a court, in, in how the belt drives the, uh, the vehicle, all right? So that's what CVT is, in case you've been wondering. All right, top speed after the ice cream man is 84 miles or 24 miles per hour. 84, moron. Read much? Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of a nice little tractor. It's standard. There's front linkage. Oh, yes, front linkage is good. Oh, there's some. Of, well, I would think if you just had a front linkage, you could put a weight on that. But that gives you the ability to drive stuff, which is smart because you want to be able to drive stuff. Anyway, this is kind of a weak tractor. Let's look at the engine setup. If you click, see I started here at TM120. If you go to the right, you'll go through and see it went to 131 and 144 and 155. And now we're back to 124. So if you want to see the top power that your tractor will put out, always use the left arrow. That takes you directly to the most powerful configuration. Okay? <laughs> so don't foo-foo around. Find out what it's doing. That we, we need more power. These ridge tracks are pretty sweet, but let's see some do, 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 Massey Ferguson. Yeah, uh, 4700, 5600, 5600. Now, what I'm confused. Oh, okay, it looks like two different year models. There's a Lind track. I don't know where Linder's from, I think they're European. 
Uh, let's look at the MF5600. It starts at 100. Woo, no, it does not. It starts at 105 horsepower. But if we go down here and hit the engine setup, it goes to 130. That's it? That sucks. Now, rejected, rebuke, denied. <laughs> no. Let's go to this 5600. This starts at 100. The data keeps changing. Hmm. All right. Engine setup. Okay, 5610. Okay, 100 horsepower. It only goes to 130 horsepower. Back, back. Medium tractor, please. <laughs> and here's why. I want to be able to mow with the, the mowing equipment and windrow at the same time. And we know we need a couple of hundred horsepower for that. All right, so here, that's an old Massey there. Um, this is the 6700S. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's actually built into the game, too. So let's see. This starts at 150 horsepower. It's respectable. It does have a front drive. doesn't have the fancy yellow cap on it, but it does. And it's got all kinds of shizzle on the back. A couple of computer displays in it. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of my speed there. Flanks, blinky lights on the on the top. And it looks like it's got a GPS mount already on it. But I know that you got to pay extra 15 grand for it. But... Okay, 150 horse, uh, 150 horsepower is respectable. Let's check. It goes to 200. Now, if we jump back, now watch though. This is this is a built into the game tractor as opposed to a mod. The mods, the guys go to a lot more extremes for your options. Okay, but let's see what they give you here: 150, 160, 175, 185, 200. So you got five different engine configurations. That's nice. All right. Not that we need to start off with 150 horsepower, but we do have 1.18 million, and I that's you start with 1.5 or 1. 1.25, whatever, whatever you start with. Um, because I bought the land, and I bought the truck. I think you start 1.5 million in um, farm manager mode. All right, so this is uh, respectable. If we just jump it up to the 200 horsepower. Add GPS, add front loader. Now the question is which brand do we want? There's Quickie and there's Hauler. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Hauler looks kind of cooler because it looks like it's got these stabby things on the front, like they're going to impale you. Oh, that's there for Quickie too. Quickie's just got a little different uh, back part here. I, I'm going to have to learn some of the terminology for this because I sound like an it. Yeah, the little picker upper stabby thingies. Yeah, that's. That's what that is, A-Train. Mm -hmm. Genius. Okay. Uh, we'll set up standard. No. If we go left, is that going to go skinny? Narrow. Yes, we like narrow tires. That's good. All right. We're going to go standard with wheel weights because we like wheel weights. And actually, I want to go Michelin. Uh-oh. We may not. There's a couple different wide tires. Oh, they do have narrow, narrow tires. But they have wide tires and they have wide tires with weights. So, yeah. I don't know, which is funny because Michelin, I think, is a French company. Blinky Blinks, G -d 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 Max Power, that's cool. All right, so that's one to think about. Uh, the Massey Ferguson 6700S, 7710. All right, now wait a minute. That's 122 for 200 horsepower plus options. This starts at 175. It has a CVT, very nice, very pretty, very modern looking. It's got... It's only got one display, but it's a bigger display. Okay, cool. Roof looks, looks similar. Now, power. We can go to 220 horsepower for 167. Wow, that's only a 20 horsepower improvement. Hmm. Or you can do Continental tires, do Midas tires, BKT. Is this a mod? This is, look, I think this is a mod. Maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway, you got like eight freaking tire companies to choose from. You can go narrow, standard, standard with wheel weights. That's what I like. Uh, front loader attachment. Here we go again. Do we like the quickie or do we like the hower? I think I like the hower. Uh, 210, 185, 175. Yeah, 220 would be the better. With GPS and the license plate. You may have seen this on my new intro. Uh, yes. My new intro uh, screen. Did you guys like that, by the way? Huh? Huh? Put a little time in that. Um, get license plates on your uh, on your uh, things now. And here, let's 
See, we could do A Train MF. Massey Ferguson. Fools. Come on. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, we're going to be family friendly here. Uh, but there are different types of license plates available. I don't know if I saw this one. Oh, wait, this is. I did have a type two. I just goofed it up. A train. Oops. FN. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. I mean. Now, I don't. Wait. Is there a wait? Mm, wait a minute. Let's hang on. Burp, burp. Let's try this again. Oh, look. There's all kinds of, you know, goofy. All right. I want a space. No, I don't want that. A dash train. There we go. That's cool. Now you can do it on the back and the front. No plate, front and back, or back only. Back only seems to make sense. Uh, Massey Ferguson Red. That kind of stands out, right? Okay. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey. Kind of cool, huh? Eh, eh, eh. I like it. Not a whole lot of options to this one. Again, when you get into some of the mod tractors, all right, 220 horsepower, this is going to cost us 185. Ugh. Um, and we'll look at the John Deere because I know some of you guys are probably John Deere fans. Um, Massey Ferguson, Ada. Did we not start? Okay, we start. What was the top out price on this with the top engine, front loader attachment, uh, GPS? 163. All right, so 200 horsepower for 163. Ah, John Deere 6 Series. Now, this starts at 200 horsepower. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet-looking bird right here now. I'm just saying. Uh, what's our max power here? We can go... That's kind of weak. <laughs> 280 or 300. But it's 300 horsepower, which tows bigger implements. Again, though... Let's revert back to the discussion from the beginning and why we chose Greystone. And we're going to also do county line. Smaller fields versus much bigger fields. Economies of scale. We don't need the flexi coil um, plow or cultivator for any of these fields. Like one swipe and you've cleared half the map, right? So we're not going to need stuff that's got 500 horsepower on this map. I don't think. Does that make sense? So, you know, we can be a little more down to earth about... It's more like having playing on Ravenport. Unless you're doing field eight, it's just going to take a little more time. But you don't want to do... You don't necessarily want to be running stuff that's just three meters wide or six meters wide. you got some fields that that would work on. But... To me, it makes more sense to, you know, let's find 6 to 9 to 12 meters wide. We don't need to go 24 meters wide. It's going to take a little time to do a little bit of work, but it, it, it's kind of relaxing. It's kind of chill. Hey, it's fun. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, we'll set up. We'll wait. Cool. Let's look at the Michigan, Michelin. Wait. Oh, are there twin wheels, rear twins, wide tires and weights, wide tires, wheel weights, all right, there are not narrow tires available here. Now, Continental, does Continental have narrow tires? Or do they just not do narrow tires on John Deere tractors? I'm not seeing narrow tires, guys. We can't work the fields without where the ability to go to narrow tires. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is a $285,000 tractor. Yeah, that's a little... Now, what about Case? Are any of you guys fans of the Case stuff? I mean, this looks so bad. This Puma with the stuff sticking. Like, why not just put the extra wheel on there, guys? Seriously. Oh, hey, look here. Remember when we were talking a few minutes ago about CVT, continually variable transmission? This conical shape here is exactly what I was talking about. Okay? So it's two of those facing each other. All right? That's what's in this back section underneath here, I think. All right, you can't see it real good, but this thing right here on the edge, that's what I was talking about. See how the, t the tire 
uh, wheel is sticking out. It's kind of a conical shape. That's what I was trying to describe to you guys. It's two conical shapes facing each other, like this right here on this wheel. All right. And as you push them together, the diameter actually gets bigger and it changes the drive ratio for the vehicle, the power ratio. Okay. That's a continually variable transmission. Now you don't have to go look it up because now A-Train was able to pull a, a visual out of his backside and help you guys out and see what it, I was to understand the words coming out of my mouth. All right. This is 140 horsepower Puma. I don't like it though. It doesn't look good. This is an older looking case. That doesn't mean it's bad. 170 horsepower. It's 97 grand. That's a good starting point. Fail already. Does not have a front loader. That is a requirement. We must have something with a front loader. Okay, here's a Puma series. Front loader attachment. But bing Oh, all right. There's Quickie. There's Hauer. There's Quickie. Hauer. There's Hauer. Wheel setup. We can do narrow tires. Narrow tires are good. Standard. Wheel weight's very good. Can we do... There's no can. Here's Michelin. Continental. I think those are U.S. made. You got narrow tires for Continental, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires with wheel weights, rear twins, front twins. So, whole kit and caboodle here. Puma 185 CVX. Now, this is not a continually variable transmission. See in the back side there, it, it, looks, uh, it looks a little different. Anyway, let's get away from that discussion kind of beat that horse to death uh let's see what the biggest engine is so 225 is our starting we jump up to 270 that's pretty respectable 228 with gps hmm what do you guys think of the the case the case in your face i do like the interior it's got a fire extinguisher built into it that's always good but i like the seat set up and then it's got that nice big monitor terminal on the right there so you just it's it's right there bada bing bada boom dual blinker blinkers it's got a sunroof very nice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. lots of little blinky lights around and i wish you could turn the lights on and off while you're sitting here looking at it all right so that's not bad so case puma series 228 for 270 horsepower i think one of the key considerations guys when you're shopping for tractors is cost per horsepower 270 horsepower, $228,000. That's less than $1,000 per horsepower. That's, you really want to be down about the seven to $800 range, I believe. Now, this CVX, I think, is going to have continuing variable transmission. Yes, it does. The CVT. All right, so 225 horsepower. Oh, you can change the color. Now, the mods are nice. You can change it. Goes to 270. Uh... Did I miss? There's Continental tires. It's got that goofy thing in the middle on the back. Weight. Standard. Wheel weights. Wide tires. Wheel weights. Where's the narrow tires? Wah, 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 fail. Um, yeah. You can change colors on it, but that doesn't do me any good if you can't put a front loader on it. All right, so here's a here's another Puma version. I, I, okay, we'll see what's fancy about this. Attachers, front weight, three point. Front weight, three point. Okay, we like the three point. Front loader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. GPS on. Wait. GPS receiver. Wait, what? What the what? Okay, is this Department of Redundancy Department, or are you just ripping me off for an extra two grand here? Tire selection, so you got a bunch of tires to choose from. Continental looks good, sure, why not? Let's make sure it's got narrow tires. Narrow tires, very good, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Um, what I have noticed is once you buy a different wheel, uh, tire configuration, like I always get standard with wheel weights, if you go into the shop and you go to switch the tires out, I don't think you pay additional money for like going to narrow tires or whatever. That's my observation. All right. 
So 225 should go to 270. Yes, it does. Indeed. 226 GPS, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what other option. Hello? Ah, and we can change the color. Not that we want to change the color. Oh, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. Yeah, hmm. That's kind of Jolly Rancher color. And I'm just saying, it's not really what I want. So, yeah, if I'm going to get case equipment, I'm going to get it in its standard red. All right. 226 for a Puma for 270 horsepower. Is there a John Deere that we can work with here? Okay, here's the older John Deere's. Here's a newer one. Let's see what this... Wait, 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 wait. There's a bunch of them. 6M Series Large, 6M Series Medium, 6M Series Small. Okay. $110,000. Cute. Kind of a cute little tractor. Oh, looks like it's got a little face on it. <laughs> 144 horsepower, CVT, 24 miles an hour. Configurations, three point, standard. Three point is a necessity. Front loader attachment, check. Check baby, check baby, one, two, three, four. Okay, $1,500 add. Narrow tires are available. Standard, wide, wide with weight, can't get. Wait, what was that? Rear narrow twin tires. Wait, no. Uh, what? I know they do this stuff, and I don't know why. Unless you're just trying to balance a little more loading. Then there's the monster version of the Mini. That's such a cool looking little tractor. You know, you spend so much time playing this game, not playing the game, and just dinking around looking at the stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are we wasting too much time here? What's the most power we can get out of this thing? 155 horsepower. Well, at least you only add 5,000 bucks for that. It's a small tractor, though. Wait a minute. Let me change this because I don't want to screw up and accidentally buy it. Uh, GPS, yes. Rim color, absolutely go with John Deere. And hey, look, A-Train JD. It fits. Yep. A-Train John Deere. That was the point. I, that's not a bad tractor, and that's only one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. And that gives us a front loader ability, which is good to have. We could attach mowers and stuff to it. Of course, it might yank it around a little bit. The beefier tractor is better for that. Um. All right, so six M series small. Let's jump up to the medium. Starts at one hundred sixty-one horsepower. Where's it going? One seventy-two. Again, a very small increase. It's only going to cost you $5,500, which is no big deal. I uh, imagine it's got a front loader attachment. You can get a front weight on it. You get three point. Uh, you can get narrow tires, which is good. Standard, wide tires, wide tires with weights. Uh, we could get Michelin brand. We could get Continental. Let's make sure you can get narrows. Uh-oh. I don't think Continental offers narrow tires. That's no bueno. Nope. Drop back and punt to Michelin. Michelin has wide tires and weights, standard. And again, nope. Hmm. Midas. Midas does not have narrow tires. Well, this sucks. What's wrong with you guys? BKT, I don't know who that is. Unless it's Brad Keselowski Technology or Brad Keselowski Tires. But they don't have narrow tires either. Vredstein. I don't know who the hell that is. Nokian. Now they have a, t a different communal. Uh, that's, a, that's probably more of a road tire than a field tire. Wheel setup. That's all you got. So if you're using a tractor just to run up and down the roads to deliver stuff to market, I guess that's the setup you'd want right there. So we'd have to stick with Trailborg. Not that that's horrible or anything, but... 
Wide tires and weights, 172 horsepower, $143,000. Uh, whoop, nope. Make that 158. 158.5. Okay. So there's the John Deere 6 M Series Medium. Then they have 6 R. Jesus. God, how much crap did I download? <laughs> oh, you know what? These come in packs. That's what it is. Let's look at the 6 R. Now it starts at 165 horsepower, and I get the feeling it's only going to 170. No, it goes 192. No, 195. Okay. All right. Now. Here's something I don't like about it from an ergonomic standpoint. Look where the computer monitor is. And then look where the controls are. Your hand is going to be right in front of that, obscuring your view of it. Now, my other question is, what the hell is this on the left side of the steering wheel, this little vent-looking thing? It's not a vent. It's, I, mean, I don't understand what that is. We've got a cup holder on the right. We've got a, looks like a built-in cooler on the left. Yep, that's nice. Nice big rear wiper. Okay, cool. I mean, it's a good-looking tractor. Got a kind of aggressive snoot nose to it. Uh, put a three-point on the front. Probably going to have to go with Trollborg wheels because they're the only ones with narrow tires. Now, oh, wait, roof? Standard? Oh, panoramic. <laughs> Heck yeah, we're going with panoramic. Heck yeah. Front loader attachment, yes. Get the Don Deere so it blends in nicely. And yeah, you got three engine options. Go 195 horsepower. Throw in uh, another 15 grand for GPS. Main colors. It's not a bad looking tractor, gang. What What do y'all, do y'all have a vote here? Let me, let me create a poll. Create a poll. Tractor. All right, so option one is uh, John Deere. Option two is add an option case. IH, which if you don't know what that is, is Case International Harvester. Um, all right, ask your community. Boom. All right, guys, there's a poll. Go vote in the poll. Damn, there's only three of you on now. That doesn't do any good. Which tractor brand should we start with? And so I'm saying we, we'll, we'll get something else. So I like the 6R series. It gets us 195 horsepower. So, you know, we get something up, upwards, you know, pushing the 200 horsepower range. I just don't want to get too crazy. This starts with 223 horsepower, which is great. Pushes up to 259. That's impressive. Uh, front weight. Huh. Uh, front loader attachment. That's good. Configuration. Three point. Yep, yep. Roof. Panoramic. Wheel setup. Can we get narrow tires? Yes, we can. Got to be able to have narrow tires. You got to have uh, front loader attachment. Got to be over 200 horsepower, preferably 250. Um, yeah, and it's got to look good too. Can't have a bad looking tractor. That's that's taboo. Narrow tires. We're not going to start with narrow tires. I'd prefer standard tires with wheel weights. Excuse me. Uh, well, this is going to be colors and license plate. All right, so you guys kind of vote and let me know which uh, which tractor you think we should go with. Uh, John Deere, uh, Massey Ferguson, Case, or New Holland. Now, we haven't looked at any New Hollands. Oh, look, New Holland, T-Series, T-7 Series. Ooh. Starts with 195 horse. Ooh, it's a pretty color blue, too. Starts with 195 horsepower. That's nice. Attachers, front weight, three-point. We're going with three-point. Wheel setup, make sure we can get narrow tires. Very good. Uh, wide tires with weights. Okay. Uh, configuration. Fiat. Fiat agree. Yeah, no. Oh, that's it. It's New Holland's and now Turin Italy is their corporate headquarters. They're tied in with Fiat. All right. So, yeah. Configuration standard. Blue power. Ooh. 
shiny. I think I'll just go with this one, though. That looks cool. Uh, front loader mu must have, oh, there's a quickie, or there's the Howler. I like that one. Oh, wait, it hides the name on the side. Yeah, that's better. You can see New Holland on the side. What's our power? 270. Woo! Cha-ching! That thing's got some horsepower. I like it. GPS, throw that in there. We're at 229. And, yeah. So, we could do, uh, we could do that. Anybody? No, no votes. You guys, are, is, are you got? Do y'all have a pulse this evening? There's, there's a poll. I'm asking for your opinion. Damn it, bones, do something. There's a poll. Vote in the poll now. John Deere, Nancy Ferguson, Case I H or New Holland. Tell me what tractor to buy. And we'll look to get it. Now I like New Holland because it's blue. Blue is cool. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Give me a piece of paper. I have a piece of paper. All right. Now I need my pen. Here's my pen. Clicky click. Boom. Pen. All right. So we're going to do New Holland. What is this? This is the T7 series. I got to write these down because, hell, by now I've forgotten which ones I looked at. Uh, back. The John Deere one we looked at was the 6R series large. Where is this? 142. Yeah, that's not big enough. 223, 259, front loader on, panoramic roof, uh, configuration, three point, wheel setup, yeah. Standard, control board tires, GPS. Yeah, so 259 horsepower, that's doggone it. Gravity just opened up underneath me and sucked my pen to the floor. All right, so JD uh, 6R large. And this loaded is 214.5. Nice. A two, oh, wait. And what's our horsepower? 259? 59 HP. Okay, cool. All right, so so far we got to vote for New Holland. All right, vote in the poll, guys. Get get on, get on the get in the game here. All right, which tractor should we get? Here's the New Holland two. Let me pimp this out so I can get the price on it. Full power that uh, that. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I want that front weight. No, I want three point wheel setup narrow. We can't get it with standard tires with wheel weights. Uh, we want the quickie so we can see the New Holland name on the side. Boom. And yes, there's our configuration for this. That tractor is going to be really 100. Wait a minute. Did I, uh, no, I didn't. There we go. 270 horsepower. Yeah. So 226 for 270 horsepower, which is better than the John Deere by 11 horsepower, but it's $12,000 more. Okay, that's, you know, reasonable. All right, so there's that. Make sure to go vote in the poll. 6X and 7, what's this? Oh, hey, hold on. Triangle? Yes? No, we don't need triangles. U.S. attachers, yep. Beacons, yes. Fenders, yes. Design, U.S. I don't want those stinking things sticking out like that. Wait, what's the difference here? <clears throat> oh, it puts the fenders on for the European. We'll take the EU version. Has rear twin. So that's all narrow tires. Okay, I can. I could live with that if you have to do a narrow tire setup. But you can do narrow tires. And you can do narrow tires. That's a lot of tire setups. Do you have narrow tires for Michelin's? That's... It does. We can actually get Michelin tires. And we have standard tires with wheel weights. That's a plus. Fenders, yes. Beacons, yes. Triangle, no. Attachers, U.S. Low. Scroll down. Thank you. 
GPS, yes, uh, and engine. 225, we go to 280. All right, so uh, where's my list? Where's my list? This is the Massey Ferguson candidate. Which piece of paper is my list? I got a stack right here. Must be under here. There it is. All right. So Massey Ferguson. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. Do I have to find a cheaper Massey Ferguson? This is almost two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's way up there. For two, but it's two hundred eighty horsepower. So let's. Two forty eight five. M F. 7720S. Okay. So that has some cool stuff going on. Oh, design color. You know what? Oh, this is neat. Hang on. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. I like this part. Hang on. We can put the. We can do little designs on the nose here. See the stickers on the nose there? And you can change it to where it matches so you don't even see it. Or you can change it to something else, which I think black looks kind of cool. So that's kind of interesting there. All right, so looks like we got a vote for New Holland so far. Make sure to vote in the poll. You, which tractor you want to see us start with? John Deere, Massey Ferguson, Case International Harvester, or uh, the uh, New Holland? Uh, the, this other design is the interior, I think. No? Oh, that's the roof color. Oh, no, the roof needs to be white. Yeah, no, you always do a white roof. That reflects the sun. And then rims, what the hell? Just do white. You ain't gotta be goofy. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. 6700S. Starts with 150 horsepower, goes to. 200 horsepower, which is the lightest of the bunch so far. So we're going to skip that one. 7710S, that's the one we looked at, right? No, we looked at 7720S. This one starts at uh, 175 and we'll go to 220. Okay, it's not bad. Where's McCormick? Huh. I don't know about that one. 7700S, 7700 Next Edition. That starts at 225. Goes to 280. 7700, okay. Which that makes it to 7726. Yes. Don't need those. It's got narrow tires. Got narrow tires with wheel weights. GPS. Like that. Rim color, go white. Yep, yep, yep. That's not bad. I like it. All right, so this is MS. So this is, this is 280 horsepower. So, but this one's only two, well, geez. 3,000 cheaper than the other one. So it's 245. 280 horsepower. We like more horsepower. We don't have to start with all that horsepower, though. We could work up to it. As long as we're starting with 200, that would be good. 7,700S. Okay. Uh, and then we need data for the John Deere tractor, right? Make sure to vote in the poll. Vote in the poll. Which tractor should we start with? Uh, no, we got the John Deere. Which one have we not got? Oh, the Case IH. So we need a Case IH. Case is back here. Case in your face. Uh, Optum Series starts really expensive. So I think, oh, the Puma was the one we looked at, right? Puma CVX? Or was it the Puma Series? Tier 4B. That. Narrow tires are available. Standard tires with wheel weights. That's good. GPS add. Front loader add. Uh, 
engine setup. Takes us 270 horsepower, GPS, yes. Main color is special. No, we're just gonna do standard. Uh, anything else? Room color needs to be white. Cool. Simple, straightforward. Now, notice, okay, so on the right side, see the monitor? See how the hands, are, the, the hand controls are below the monitor? That's me. Dan Walsh, hey, welcome aboard. How are you? <clears throat> you couldn't vote. Okay. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, so there's a difference with the ergonomics there. See, the controls are below, so you, the, the, your hand wouldn't get in the way of seeing the monitor. So the case is not bad at all. All right, so there's Case Puma. This one's 226 which is the same price as the uh, New Holland. So 226 7 270 horsepower, same horsepower as the New Holland. And this is the case, writing this down, Puma. Um, but I know there's technically... Oh, it is not a straight case Puma series. Okay, cool. T4. Okay, all right, guys, vote in the poll. We've got we got five options for tractors. The case Puma Tier Four is two hundred twenty six thousand, two hundred seventy horsepower. We have the Massey Ferguson seventy seven hundred S, which is two hundred forty five thousand, two hundred eighty horsepower. Massey Ferguson seventy seven twenty S, two hundred forty eight. Let's uh, let's take that one off the list. So 7700S, we're going to take 7720 off the list. So Case Puma tier, uh, T4, that's this one. Massey Ferguson 7700S. We have the John Deere 6R Large, 214,000 for 259 horsepower. So that's the most economical one, but it's the lowest horsepower, depending on what you compare it to. You're looking at 259 at the low end, 280 at the high end. And then there's the New Holland T T7 series. It's 226 for 270. So it's comparable to the Puma Tier 4, T4. All right. So go ahead and log your votes in the uh, in the poll there. And then we'll make a, a selection and get going here. Um, is it going to be the case, Puma? I wish you could pull these out to shop them against each other. That's a mod someone needs to work on. We've got the John Deere 6R Series Large. That's this one. We've got the Massey Ferguson 7700S. That's this one. What is this? Well, that's 325 horsepower. Oh, we're at $267,000. Yeah, we're getting a little little high in the price range there. All right, scope creep. And then there's the New Holland Tier 7 Series. All right, so cast your votes now. What tractor are we going to get? If you can't cast a vote, just put it in the in the, in the the chat. Tell me which one you like. Uh, we've got red for Case and for Massey Ferguson. We've got green for John Deere, and we've got blue for New Holland. So there's some of those to look at. Um, what else are we going to need? We're going to need a trailer. So you guys think that through and go ahead and vote in the poll. Pardon me. You know, the SEK 802 is not standard kit in the game. And I have learned in farting around with it that really it is a very capable trailer. Yeah. You can take it in the flatbed mode. You know, you've seen that, which is it's designed to carry bales, right? Um... Here's your 4,000 capacity. So you can do bale trailer. You can strap stuff down. You can do 4,000 capacity, 8,000 capacity, or 12,000 liter capacity. And then you can even put a cover on it. Fancy. Right? But that interchangeability is really nice. Oh, you can put the cover on it. 8,000. I didn't know that. That's nice. Uh, so I was doing, I was playing on um, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And I had it in the 8,000 capacity. And um, I was tossing logs into it to haul over to the um, sawmill. So that was fun. So this is a really, I mean, 
I mean, it's a nice, nice trailer to go with. Um, if you need small hauling capability, which I, mm, we're going to need some hauling capability with these fields. I just don't know how much yet. So I don't, you know, we don't need a monster. I've downloaded a bunch of trailer mods, by the way, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> Got a bunch of them here. Yeah. Lizard's logistics tipper. Oh, God. These are killing me. It, it holds 83 meters cubed. I don't know what that means. <laughs> how many liters does it hold? I'm so used to knowing how many liters the damn things hold. Tell me that. Why? Why? I mean, I, uh, okay. Then again, I guess maybe, hang on, harvesters might be listed by. See? Nope. Here's the problem. 4,900 liters for the harvester. Well, how does that compute? Or how does that, do you guys know, anybody know the conversion? Metrics, you know, that stuff. Is 4,900 liters, I mean, what's a cubic meter in, hang on, let me just look this up. I can GTS. How many liters in a cubic meter. Okay, let's learn something. Oh, okay. A cubic meter is a thousand liters. Alrighty then. We learned something today. So this is 4.9 cubic liters or cubic meters. Alrighty. Very good. It is eight meters cubed. So that's 8,000 liters capacity. That's, uh, so I'm, I'm sorry. Does anybody else see, see that as kind of dumb? Why have two different systems? You know, I, I, unless you're just trying to force the metric system on the world, either have it by cubic meters or have it by liters for your trailers and your harvesters and other equipment. That would make sense, right? So let's go over to our good old SEK802, which... We know we'll hold 4,000, 8,000, or 12,000 liters. So that's 12 cubic meters, right? I think so. Yeah, that's 12 cubic meters. Oh, look, it says it on the left. 12 meters, capacity 12,000, 12 meters cubed. Huh. You know, if I had read that initially, I probably would have drawn the conclusion without having to look it up. All right, guys, vote in the poll. I only got two votes so far. One John Deere, one New Holland. That means I'm going to have to toss a coin. Actually, oof, boy, that's a tough pick because I kind of like the idea of doing the John Deere. But the New Holland, hmm. Because I normally run Massey Ferguson stuff, so. We've got the Case Puma T4, uh, Massey Ferguson 7700S, John Deere 6R Large, or the New Holland T7 Series. Those are our four tractor choices. Make your voice heard and vote now in the poll, in the chat. Vote, or if you can't vote, then just put it in the chat and we'll record your vote. Which means if you've already voted, you would wind up with two votes in effect. Lizard Logistics, big bag trailer. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't think we're going to need these massive trailers at this point. So maybe we should hold off on buying a trailer? Hmm. But we can't buy front loader stuff until you guys vote in the poll. Let's think about a harvester. There's small ones, there's New Holland, there's Case. I wish they'd do the mod where you could where it puts things in price order from low to high. That would be nice. We don't need the ideal, we don't need this massive case ones. Ah, here's our Activa. Activa. This is our favorite. It's my favorite. All right, so this holds 8.6 cubic meters because it holds 8,600 liters. Hmm, because we learned something. All right, guys, vote in the poll. We got, we're going to have to work this out here pretty quick. Uh, so we're going to get an Activa. Uh, we can get Michelin tires. Do those tires fatter? Yeah, they are. Boom. We'll set up standard or wide. Standard or 
wide. Um. No, I think we're just going to do the, um, do the, oops, we'll just do the license plate with the dash, a train, dash, yes, and placement on the back only, yep, 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 mm -hmm. main color, black or red? Well, this is Massey Ferguson, so it's got Massey Ferguson red, right? Yep. I think so. Okay, so that takes care of that. We're familiar with this one. It's got a 25-foot wide. Uh-oh, we got another vote for John Deere. All right, guys, let's get these votes in. What, uh, which tractor should we buy? We got two votes for the John Deere 6R Large. Is that the one? 6R Large. One vote for the New Holland T7 Series. The John Deere is uh, $214,500, 259 horsepower. The New Holland is two twenty six grand and 270 horsepower. So uh, we also have an option for a case and for a Massey Ferguson. So log your votes now. Get on board because I'm going to buy this bad boy. Is there anything else I need? GPS? Da, 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 da. No, we're good. We have a harvester. Yes. Now, let's go get the header for it. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Power flow. Ooh, does this go with Activa? Is this a 30 foot would be great. We may need a power flow. Uh, I don't know if that's compatible. Power flow 40. I don't know if that's compatible with the Activa. It does not show. Why does it not show? Oh, I see. It's got little strakes in the bottom there. That would suck if we bought a header that wasn't compatible with our our combine. Three votes. Still got time to vote in the poll. Jump on in there. Vote for the tractor we should buy. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find the Massey Ferguson. There's a 40-foot. That'd be awesome but i think it's overkill here's the free flow okay this is this is the one that goes with the activa so it's a 25 foot and then we need a trailer to go with it it's only forty nine thousand dollars. boy should we try to see if the 30 foot fits if it fits it ships it's fifty two thousand dollars. or should we just stick with what we know I think we're gonna stick with what we know. What we know is this. So let's let's get this. Boom. Okay, we got so now we gotta get a trailer for it. Um, drum, 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 drum. Header trailers. And we know this works. I think. Wait, these are different. Where is the one that we've gotten before? Ah, the Leguan Twenty Four. We know this one works. I don't know which one of these would work. One point seven. I mean, how how do we know which one of these is going to work? Oh, we got another vote for the John Deere. John Deere starting to run run away with the guys. Hey, Country Bandit, welcome back. We're having a vote right now. On which tractor I should get. We've got four options. We're going to wrap it up here in just a minute. We have the uh, John Deere 6R Large, $214,000 for 259 horsepower. We have the Massey Ferguson 7700S, $245,000 for 280 horsepower. The Case Puma T4, $226,000 for 270 horsepower. And the New Holland T7 Series, $226,000 thousand dollars for 270 
horsepower. So you guys log your votes. Let's get that wrapped up while I figure out what the hell. I guess I want to have to just get this one down here because I think it will work. And we should have main color. We can switch to Massey Ferguson. Thank you. Rim color. We'll just make it white. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And bye. Boom. I think he just converted that over from the uh, uh, one in uh, FS2019. All right, so now we have a harvester, a header, a trailer for the header. Uh, we need a... We're going to need some more stuff, clearly. How much money do we have? Nine, oh, we still got nine. Damn, I forgot my truck was running this whole time. <laughs> running gas out here. Get in the cab where it's quiet. All right, let me get back on the phone here and look at the internet page for, for the store. Uh, you voted John Deere. Oh, okay, good. All right, very good. We've got four votes in. If you want to vote, get in the poll now. If you can't, click on a selection to vote. Make sure to just put your your uh, opinion, your vote in the uh, in the chat. So we're going to need a trailer. We're going to need a trailer. Uh, should we just start with an SEK802 setup to full configuration and roll tide roll with it? No, because we got it. We got the. I think we need something a little bigger. The AgroLiner is not bad. That's not an American brand, though. What are the American brands? Huh. Of course, we could just get an auger wagon. Strotman, Aperion, that's $90,000. Yikes. Klaus, we know that. Dangreville. That can be up to 20,000 liters. Joskin, I would think that's an American. That's 31,000 liters. That's good size. I mean, I think any field could handle that easily. So, um, huh. Well, this has like a, it has a cover to it, sort of, kind of. Huh. Fancy. 64,000. Okay, that holds 47,000 liters. Huh. That's not bad. Wait, configuration. Oh, that holds 48,500. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Well, it kind of depends on what tractor we get, huh? All right. It's looking like it's going to be the John Deere. Votes are running out of steam here. So, um, hmm. That's pretty. I like blue. Blue is pretty. Um, so the Joskin 64.5, that's not bad. The extensions. You get with Michelin tires or Nokian or BKT or Redston or Trailborg. Oh, you do wide tires too. And you don't leave as big an imprint in the field. So that's not bad. That's a good that's a good sized um it matches our truck too. But that's a good sized trailer. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be dealing with any fields that big, though. That's the only problem. Is that overkill? Seriously? Oh, serious overkill? Scarlet overkill, as it were? <laughs> uh, do we need 48,000 liters of capacity, or would 30 be better? This is not... Oh, there's, oh no, there you only have the color options. Yeah, 
Why is there a wheel setup option if you can't select the wheel option? What am I not understanding? Huh. Okay. I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, this 30, 31,000 I think is going to be better. I don't think, unless we're doing the biggest fields out here, and I now there's data available that you can go in and look and see, I think um, I think we're going to uh, go with that. All right, we're going to end the poll here. Anybody else want to vote real quick? Vote now or hold your peace. Anyone? Anyone? John Deere, Massey Ferguson, Case IH, or New Holland? Really, it's over at this point. There's, there's, so we're going to end the poll there. Okay, very good. Thank you for voting. And we're going to get us a John Deere tractor. Uh, but we're going to get this uh, Joskin trailer too. I mean, I would like the blue one. Is there an option for one that we could get that's about that size and maybe get a cool color? What about lizard? Oh, wait a minute. This is 20,000 liters, but wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is there... Oh, there's no... 20,000 liters. Eh. Okay. Normal hitch, pin, normal hitch, ball. Pin or ball. And we could do this in our that's not too bad. I like the idea of a white cover because then it doesn't superheat, you know, your uh, contents. I mean the blue works, but I think the white looks better. It's got the stupid lizard logos on it though. Can't turn that off. Um okay. And that's only $27,000. That's cheap. All right. So the lizard, lizard, um, the lizard trailer looks pretty good. Lizard tandem 18T. Roland, blah, 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 blah. Lizard logistics tipper. Crampo. Farm tech. Fortis. That looks huge. That's 55,000 liters. Yeah, no, that's, we don't, again, economy of scale. We're not dealing with that big of fields. All right, so the lizard tandem or, and how many, it's 20,000 liters? Yeah, 20 and a half. Or we could do the Joskin trans space, which is 30, 1,000 liters, but we can't change the colors. Or, or, any other options here? The appearance, God, it's expensive. Agro liner. What about this Rudolph? We can't change the color. That's only 18 and a half. Um, yeah. All right, so agroliner. We can't change the color of this either. Trail board tires look good. This is thirty-seven and a half thousand liters. That seems a little excessive. It's fifty-three grand. Uh, you know what? I think for the money, we could save a little bit of money if we go ahead and go with the lizard. All right, and then go back to the blue, white, white. Pay extra thousand for um, wide tires, normal hitch pin, normal hitch ball with cover. And there's our license plate. This one, we can do in blue. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Eh, 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 yeah. Now, 
something just occurred to me. This gives us 20,000 liters of hauling capacity. We're going to buy it. I guess if the uh, need arises, we will look at... Um, Six R, right? Six R large. Six R large is what we want. Which is a mod. Six M, six R. Yeah, there we go. All right. So let's get this uh, punched up. We want the three point configuration. We want the whatever ones allow us narrow tires, which is, I think, going to just have to be trail board. Continental, does I have? Wheel weights, that's standard, but it does not have narrow tires. Yeah, we want narrow tires. Nope, don't change that. Change this. But it doesn't have standard tires with weights. That's dumb. All right, we want the panoramic roof, front loader attachment, uh, the big engine, 259 horsepower. And GPS, main color is good, A train. And we will change the color on this to John Deere, green. Do, 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 do. Yeah, all right, color keyed. Nice, yeah, all right, $217,000. Wait a minute. How'd that work out? This was supposed to be, oh, it was supposed to be 214.5. Uh, license plate, and we changed something with the tires, I think. That's where we picked up that little extra price there. No, we actually, 217. Yeah. Okay, it's two and a half thousand more. Whatever. Buy it. Wait, we got everything? 259. Yep, 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 Cool. All right, there's another quarter million out. Uh, we are probably going to need a flatbed trailer, though, at some point. So we'll have to deal with that. All right, so we've got a pickup truck. We got us a medium tractor. We got us a harvester. We got us a trailer. So now we need probably just some uh, simple stuff like um, plows or cultivators or subsoilers or for shizzles, manizzles, and stuff like that. It's a John Deere plow. 7.9 meter. Oh, that needs 410 horsepower. Ouch. No. Now this lizard one needs 450 horsepower. No. This one's a little different though. Except that requires 320 horsepower. No. <laughs> Alright, this would work. It's 5.7 meters. Ah, here's... Wait. Oh, that's a front chisel. Alright, so that's a lizard. Huh. What about a subsoiler? Because those serve about the same job, right? That is four meters. Amazon, that's a German company. Horse is German as well. Kuhn is actually a French company. They're well established in the United States. Now, Agrisem, I have no idea who they are, right? Um, yeah, I think we're just going to need the plow. Let's go with the plow. I think this one. Lizard famed chisel pack mod. This is 5.7 meters, goes six miles an hour. But we can change the colors. Ooh, 
the red looks better. That's disappointing that those are the only two color choices. Or do you guys think green and orange looks better? I would like, I would have gone John Deere green and green, but didn't have that option. Hmm. Red for the, the plow seem okay? I think so. I think I'll sell it. All right, so there's the plow so we can work the fields. Um, we're going to need a mower setup and some balers. Where is our normal? Is it the case or the coon? There's the Massey. Does Don Deere make a baler? Don't see John Deere. I see Crohn's. I see Coons. Case okay, so this thing is freaking huge. Oh, this is one of the ones that craps them out. Yeah, that's just a square baler. I don't know if I want just a square baler. I like the round bales. There's a there's a square baler right there. That's only $22,000. So if we need a square baler for straw or whatever, that would work. But I want one that we can wrap up and do silage with. And that is the... Is it the coon or is it the case? Oh, that's the one that craps them too. Oh. Uh, where's our... Automatic bale wrapper. Hmm. Where is it indeed? All right, this just bales and then cuts them loose. I mean, it puts a little wrap around it, but it doesn't do silage. Huh. Well, nuts. Do I not have one that will wrap for silage, or does that fall into a different bale wrapper? I wonder if this... Nope. Hmm. Okay. It's our mower set up here. I think I have a John Deere mower set up. There it is. Oh, there's a deer wing set up there. Yeah, nice. Coon and John Deere mower pack. All right, okay, cool. 13 miles an hour, that hauls the mail. Three and a half meters, 9.9 .9 meters. So we'll buy us this. And that way it'll match the tractor. Kind of cool. And then we need a Windrower. Oh, okay, guys. Now, here. This is one I linked a video to. I looked this up a while back. This Merge Max, this is a high tech piece of machinery. Okay. Look up the Kuhn Merge Max. And it's actually, I think there's a 1050 or an 1150 now. And you will see what this thing does. It's insane. These, these deals fold out like wings, and then you have computer control of it in the uh, cab where you can select a center trail, a left trail, a right trail, or a left and right trail. It's crazy. The, the technology is just insane. Um, this one does I don't need. I don't need too fancy. Seven meters. We we need nine point nine meters though. Can we get nine point nine meters? That's fourteen point seven. That's six point three. It's fourteen. It's nineteen. Eight point five meters is close enough, I think.
Unless I can go find another wind rower that, hmm. Maybe I'll wait on that. Now we could always do tethers and do grass baling. Actually, I don't think you have to. Do you have to dry it and bale? Yeah, I think you do. Um, so, ah, sprayers and fertilizer. That's that's important. Oh, and then we're going to have a stupid roller, too, and a cedar. We're going to have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, cultivators, maybe. Amazon. Horsh, Robbie Lemkin. Coon. Now we're getting up to the big ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these are field craters, too. Jiminy Christmas, look at this. What's the width on that? 15.7 meters. Dang. That thing is huge. Wow. That, that will make a field. All right? That will make a field. Here's the lizard cultivator. That's only three meters. It's only three. That's six. I still know how we're how often we're gonna have to plow versus just cultivate. But there is a difference. And then when you get small stones, then you have to roll the field and all that stuff. Um, so I mean you wind up with Plows, cultivators, disc harrows, power harrows, subsoilers, all of these things, you know, they have to work together. All right, sprayers. We can get one of these on the cheap. This hardy mega that does 24 meters at seven miles an hour. It does liquid fertilizer. Wait, is that liquid fertilizer and herbicide? I think so. It's only a 1200 liter tank. You have to carry this one with it. Uh, oh, but the fields aren't that big, doof. Let's see if there's a better. Oh, this is mega 20. There's 2200 liter. Yeah, I like that one. And there's the coon. There's 1300. That's 2200 liters. 24 meters, 21 meters, 7, oh, 10. This one does has more capacity at 2200 liters. 24 meter width. At 10 miles an hour versus 7 miles an hour. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem like a whole lot of. Oh, it should just be a red one, I guess. <laughs> Oh, is that hardy? It is a hardy. Well, we'll do hardy. All right, very good. And buy that. Thank you. All right, cool. So that takes care of our fertilizer and herbicide sprayed stuff. And then we'll need to lime the fields, which that doesn't lime. This limes and fertilizes. Amazon. Aha. Does jeez, that slings it out over 42 meters of width. Holy crap. We do not have fields that big. But it does lime as well as fertilizer. 42 meters. Zoiks. This is only 16.5. But it You know, if we have to lime a field that's only so often, I think we'll just rent that equipment, right? That seems to make sense. All right. $367,000 in new vehicles. Shall we go get some? I think we shall. So the question is, where do we want to park the truck for now? And then we'll get our buddy to... I think I'm going to park it up here by this house.
Oops, we're in the in the grass. We're knocking the grass down, but it springs back up. That's good. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this home. Yes, the massy. Oh, good lord. How the hell am I going to get to this? Oh, this is not cool. <laughs> How? Oh, I know. Here. I know exactly how. Hang on. Well, we can turn it on. Jump out. Guess what we're going to do? Jump over this and engage super strength. That should do. Close enough. All right, fixes that problem. Because <laughs> then we got to put it on this stupid trailer. And then we got to come back and get all that crap too. So, lots of schmutz to go and get, get and go. So, we can hook up the trailer. Okay. All right. So for now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice. Okay, that's on board. Sweet. So we can get these three pieces out of the way. Uh-oh. If I can figure out which way. Okay, let's pull over here. That'll do, pig. All right, let's not run into the Methodist church and shop and all that. Okay, now we're close. All right, let's see. If I can line this up from inside, this might work. It's locked in there too good, but we'll see. We will find out very soon. All right, looks locked in to me. Turn our blinky blink lights and make sure there's nobody coming in. I think basically all the traffic on this map runs down this main road. That's the only direction you have to deal with. Uh-oh. All right. Stand by. Warp speed. And hit it. Uh-oh. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. I could stay off the side of the road here, I suppose. It's not like we got far to go. Here. Just go, doofus. I just got to get to the driveway, which is right down here. Anybody coming along now? Yep. White car's coming. Come on, white car. Don't buy us. Thank you. Coming over. All right. See, so we get to right here, and we're we're golden. We're set. That's how far we got to go. I do not have that Heather on the trailer straight. That's okay. Left turn signal. Very good. Thank you. Now this this we got to be a little careful with. I drove this, and then I tried to fix this. But if you look at the road here, it kind of drops away towards the lake on the left. <laughs> uh, I think he kind of pulled the ground down after he laid the road in. And yeah, so we're going to swing over to the right, stay up on the high ground and not roll into the lake before we even get this thing, you know, <laughs> before we do anything. Hi, uh, like now, welcome aboard. How are you? Like now. All right, so this is looking pretty good. 
So we got mowers for our grass fields, and we've got a cultivator, or not a cultivator, a combine for our other fields. I still, uh-oh, what are we doing here? Still don't like how this is positioned. It's not gonna matter from this angle, doofus. You can get it straight. Get it straight. Get it straight, dude. Come on. Where'd you learn how to drive? Sears? Do you like the sound effects? Sound effects are nice. Well, I gotta be careful here. Somewhere this might be crop destruction territory. I don't want to F my crops up. Okay, this should give me plenty of room to fix this. So we're good to go there. I do want to put it back on. I know that seems stupid. You just took it off there, eh, train? Right, but it wasn't on straight. Not that much, not that much close. We'll go a little bit to the right. Okay, here, now, I know some people do some immersion stuff, and here's why I feel like this is legitimate, although really not that view necessarily. Maybe this view would be better. Is because you're probably going to have a helper helping guide you. There we go. There. Righteous. With a side of indignation. saying that? It's a legitimate song. I didn't just make that up. Who sang it? Come on. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. I know how to do this. This way? Nope. That's the wrong way. That's not it. This way. Yeah, there you go. Now, back straight up. It almost seems silly. In fact, it is silly. So why be silly about it? If you're not going anywhere because you own these fields, well, we might be going somewhere to do a job, I suppose. But we've got our own fields to handle. Then maybe I should just park this right here at the end where it'll be easy to get to. Or does that make too much sense? Eh, maybe it makes too much sense. I don't know. Uh, now to F it up. Wait, not yet. I haven't F'd it up yet. Not yet. We're close, but we haven't done it yet. Nope, other way, other way. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Straighten the wheels out. That'll do, pig. Right there. Cool. Now, let's run this bad boy around here. Do, 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 do. Don't jump it in the lake. We got two lakes on our property. Well, this one for sure is on our property. 
The other one, maybe not so much. It's in the vicinity of our property. And we're going to take slot number two here because slot number one's got a bunch of schmutz in it. Can I get this in here? Whoa! Not that way. Uh, okay. No, other way. Okay. No less turn. No less turn. No less turn. No more turn. A little, little stop before you crash it into the back or hit whatever this pile of crap is that I need to get rid of. Dang. Other owners, previous owners, just left a bunch of stuff laying everywhere. Okay. That seems reasonable. Turn the fancy blinky blink lights off. Turn the engine off. All right. We've gotten the, the big thing home. Now let's go get the other thing. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. All right, genius. I think there's a way to do this. I know what we're going to do today, Ferb. All right. There we go. Ready for this? Not saying it's a smart plan, but it is a plan. Wait, turn on the blinky lights. I like the blinky lights. All right, let's jump in the cockpit, look over our shoulder, and back up with some right wheel in it. Right wheel. There you go. Come back to the left now. <laughs> Easy. Pull forward with right wheel. There you go. Bring it back to the left now. Back it up. Go to the center. Close enough. I like at least being close enough so it looks legit. All right, so now... It's a little hefty on the back end. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a weight for this thing. Don't think this is designed to be worked on the front end, but I think we can take it on the front end. Ha ha! Looky there. Two for one. Now, the question is can we get this right down the street? We just gotta get it right down the street. Listen, if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. And that fresh produce sign is kind of misleading. It's like, really? Guys, it's got to have the arrows going one way and then the other way so you can put it on the other side. I mean, nobody's coming. Nobody's coming that way. Well, nobody's coming this way either. All right, punch it, Sulu. <laughs> Warp speed. All right, get off the road. Yeah, I know. There's people in the car are like, what in the hell? Who is this yodel, local yodel with the tractor, like, discombobulated and stuff? All right, let's put this on. Love the air, air compressor sounds. Oh, we're looking over our shoulder still. That's a tough way to drive. Swing over here, wide of the road. And we, we can make some adjustments, which is part of the reason why I got the plow. We can make some adjustments to these fields. Whoa, dude. I mean, we can combine. Like, these two right here can probably be combined. See what I'm saying? You got all these little fields. Now, some of them have the little, geez, A-train, settle down. Mirrors can't even keep up with what you're doing here. Uh, where do we want to park this stuff? Over there, or oh, you know what? There's like tanks of wait, wait. I remember this. Fertilizer, herbicide. Hmm. Could stick those in there. That would make sense to park the put the hardy right there, huh? I kind of think so. Actually, that's where the tractor ought to be. That would make more sense. Maybe put the trailer there. And we'll put these two pieces right here. Oh, great. I can see real well. Maybe we can use our mirrors. Uh, I don't have
have a mirror mod and the mirrors are going black on me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we can't keep up. All right, we're doing it this way. Now, here's the thing. Will the plow fit? Uh-oh. I don't think the plow will fit. Doink. That is not going to work. Hmm. Okay. I have a plan. Um, because we got mower equipment too. So let's uh, ditch the plow. Back this up. Ditch that. Go back up here. Grab the plow. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little road adage around the end here. Got to clean this place up. All these bushes and schmutz. All right, we'll just park this right here. We'll put something else in here with it. We could have put the hardy in with it, I guess. That would have made sense. Put this in this way. Easy access. No fuss, no muss. Boom. Yeah, let's just get the hardy and back it in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right. Crap. It wasn't as smooth as I would have liked, but that's okay. All right. What else we got going on here? Uh, yeah. We're going to back this in here. Then we got a spot for the trailer. And then we got a place for the mowing equipment. And then we still got another open, three open bays. Oh, well, the trailer, the tractor will go at the end, then the trailer on this side. And then we got the money. We'll still have at least one open bay. I'm right up against this thing here. Yeah, now I can just put some fertilizer schmutz down here. Oh, all right, there's that. All right, let's run back down and get the other stuffs. We'll go this way so you guys can see the rest of the proper ta. Now, I think we got a little drainage, a little ditch area here. Boop, boop. Cool. You guys having a good time? Are you enjoying this? FS22 now on the channel. Yay. Hope you're enjoying the show and hope you give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about the Farming Simulator family of games now available on Steam. And I say family of games because though this is the latest and greatest, pardon me, um, FS19 is still a very viable game with tons of mods available and it's a lot cheaper. So now if you want to see if you like the game, you know, I would uh, look at getting FS19. Just watch videos. But if you want to play the game, get FS19. Unless you got 50 bucks to throw. Because this was just on sale for 40. Um, boy. Those mod mirrors are not having a good time. Maybe it's just the fact it's kind of partially out of my vision. At least we don't have far to go to the store, and we don't have far to go to sell stuff either, so that's good. Although we got traffic crawling up our butt here. They say run us over like the clowns did on on uh, county line. All right, so now we got the trailer or we got the mowing equipment. I think we'll take the mowing equipment this go round. 
And yeah, that looks like a plan. Oop, back up this way. Now swing it over, swing it over, swing it, baby. Like that. I like the sound effects. I'm not too fond of all oh, nuts to that. Why do they put this stuff facing the wrong direction? Jeez, Louise. I hope nobody's looking because i got to show off my super strength. Oops, no. Come back here. E. Oh, sheesh. I threw it. Ha. Ah, who knew? All right. Uh, let's just go a little easy now. Okay. And just turn around. Yeah, there you go. Much better. <laughs> oh, Captain Insano just threw the thing across the parking lot. Mount up. It's shaking and shivering. It's scared of me. All right, cool. Now we got the whole lawn mowing situation squared away. wonder if they'll let me mow the grass over here. I wonder... Wah, 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 wonder why. Guess not. No. Not so much. Not so much. Okay. We still. I gotta go through the windrower mods and see if we can find the one. I like the one we had at the uh, the house in the previous. Oh, dang it, dude! Sorry. Stuck my nose out in front of your business, and geez, you about took me, took it off. Okay, punch it. You got the way. Don't get run over. Come the other way. Jeez. Okay, these people don't slow down for you. Bam. Am I enough out of your way? Thank you. We're not killing me. Oh, this is us. Okay, we can turn that off. That's just kind of annoying. Oh, I don't need to go 32 miles an hour through here. Yeah, we gotta do some work on that road. Just probably reprofile the direction of it because I don't want to try to fart around with raising and lowering it that turned into a debacle we still have a million have half a million dollars left we could buy a couple more fields and then we also have the option here where we could just combine these two up into a package pack, 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 package but let's do this let's back Clearly, I don't know which bay I want to put them in because now I've set myself up to be in between two bays. Doofus. All right, here we go. Back, 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 back it up, back it up, back, back, back it up. Working that throttle with that right foot, you can see bouncing there. Oh, shoot. Oh, it is folded. Okay. Dang, is that, am I going to fit? <laughs> All right, let's go to the back piece and drop it. Nice. I like how the legs deployed and then it disconnected. Whereas on the um, on 19, it kind of just drops and the legs spring out. And it looks like you about broke the thing. So, time to run back over to the store to get our trailer, and then, oh, there's one other escape route here. We'll take that one this time. 
We need to buy a weight while we're there. Go on the nose of this thing. And then we'll have to see if we can do anything in this little pasture right here with the um, fence around it. I don't know if we could put you know, some horses or cows or something in there. Get stable, get stable. Three. There we go. All right. Get your head aligned. There you go. Excellent. All right. We are having fun now, gang. So I gotta try to find the baler that does the silage wrapping and the windrower that I like. It does like 14 meters or maybe it's 12 meters, maybe it's 10. That's about what we, we need 10 meters because the, the John Deere tractor setup is, or uh, mower setup is 9.8 or 9.9 .9 meters. I forgot. We may need to get us a, um, I don't know, is there any reason for us to get silos? We can just bring stuff over here and sell it. I guess there's not really until we get animals, right? All right, let's uh, pull up the phone here and look at weights. Pick up nine, 900 kilograms, I think that'll work. Do I need 1150 kilograms? Yeah, that's 1,800. That's for big, 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 big tractors. D I don't know. I guess we can get this one. Do -do 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 -do. Nothing's fancy. Just buy it. Okay, back, back. Uh, the other thing we need while we're here. Front loader, John Deere 6, 280 horsepower, how much horsepower do we have? Do we have, we have 259, don't we? Okay, that's 130 horsepower, huh, okay. It's 290 horsepower. That's 290. Wait, 700 M. Oh, this is a mod. Oh, okay. Huh. I mean, I guess I could get something besides the John Deere. All right. And then, um, <laughs> nope, back. Front loader tools. Um, I don't guess we need anything yet. Pallet fork would probably be good. Tension belt supported mod. Ooh, fancy. Well, if it's a tension belt supported pallet fork, then let's get a tension belt supported pallet fork. Man. Go big or go home, right? Okay. Anything else we need of interest? That we can carry in this load. I don't think so. I think we got this pretty well handled. Oh, while I'm here, give me a chainsaw. Which one do I want? Do I want a steel? Do I want a Husqvarna, a John Sered? I don't know where John Sered's from. Hello. Maybe McCullough or Steel. Anyone have an opinion on the uh, chainsaw I should buy? The Husky Vine? That's from like Sweden. I think. Well, let's get either a Steel or a McCullough. Do we need a vote? Steel or McCullough? Anyone? 
class Bueller you want to have an opinion on this no uh, okay steel it is all right so now we got steel that's all we can carry this go around unless we buy some other crap and put it on another a flatbed trailer or just drive all this stuff home and the funny thing is is I got the ball hitch for the that trailer and if I had just gotten used the pin we could put the weight on our backside and then um, run the trailer off the weight now I think we can do the front loader stuff I don't know if we'd be able to run it real good but I'm pretty sure we can do the front loader stuff with the weight on you are so misaligned Dude, seriously, get back in cab view. Thank you. Okay. Uh oh. Cool. All right. Well, that doesn't interface very good, does it? There it goes. Now it's locked in. All right, that'll do, pig. Let's test it out a little bit. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I know. It's because it was interfering with the uh, the weight. I knew that would be an issue. Okay, cool. Now we got some pallet stuff. Oh, it does have control. We can open and close the forks. Very nice. Cool. All right, we got some equipment now, gang. Stick our nose out too far. Carl, chop us off. All right, we're gonna go. See, there's a pro. This is a problem. The end of the map. These cars are just turning right back around and coming around that curve. And all right, now we got a second. We can go. kind of haul through here too, don't they? Got nobody behind us. So we're just going to run on down a little bit further. Go to the next driveway, I guess. That'll make it easy. All right. It's not a bad little tractor. You guys made a good choice. Nothing jumps like a deer. So at some point we'll probably just have to split our equipment up between that shed and this shed unless we put another shed in, but shed I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, it was funny, eh, Train? You so funny. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Yeah, 
You know, I put the mowing equipment in where I th thought I was... Wait a minute, where'd the trailer go? What the hell happened to our trailer? Jesus, did I lose it somewhere? I don't see anything big and blue sitting by the highway. Holy smokes! What happened to the trailer? Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Let me drop this stuff off and go frickin' rescue it. Whatever I did. I'm a doofus. <laughs> God. Uh, I could have sworn I saw blue in the rearview mirrors and then the, the mirrors fritzed and it's like, you know, hey, what do you do? Alright, uh, wait. I need, not that. Not that. Yes, that. Uh-oh, that didn't work too good. That worked. Okay, now, hit that, hit that, and hit that. Okay, who stole my trailer? Which one of you yahoos is messing with me? I think we're going to put a carport. Oh, I forgot this little deal over here, too. I think we'll put our mowing equipment there. Gotta get a windrower though. Fix that road right there. Oh, dang, that's a big bump. Okay, I'm gonna have to smooth that out. Here we have a little drop off. I don't mind little changes in terrain, but geez. Okay, punch it. I don't see the trailer. I wait a minute. It's sitting. It's sitting here. Did I accidentally punch Q while I was sitting at the stupid stop sign? <laughs> what an idiot! Come on, man. Jeez, poor trailer. I left behind. No trailer left behind. All right, I'm hoping nobody comes racing up behind me here. Let's get past this car. Oh crap! Someone's behind me. Never mind. Got to go. Sorry, dude. I feel so bad I abandoned you in the middle of the road. Okay, hold on. Double dumbass on me. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. All right, can I get away? Oh, nope, there's a white car coming behind the red car. You know what? Uh, screw them, I'm going. You just have to slow down, citizen. I don't know if I was gonna call him Mr. or Mrs. Slow your roll. Oh, wait, I gotta go to the next driveway. Sorry! You, there is a, a, a dash yellow line. You could pass me. Could. I don't think the AI is capable. I could just pull over to the side and let them go by, but I'm gonna be off out of the way here momentarily. So, yeah, I think we'll move the mower equipment over to, the, to that other shed. Oh, wait, wait, I, 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 stop, I gotta stop. Traffic coming. There we go. Alright, very good. I got us out of there. Turn that off. Thank you. And then we've got this whole thing over here we can store. Is there a gate? There's a door. I don't know if it works. Hmm. I hate to think that field's gonna be useless, but... Hold up. Full stop. Yeah, 
let's get the mower equipment, because I'm willing to put the trailer in this spot, actually. Alright, um, full left. Oh, craptastic, A-Train. Way to think that through. That's the frickin' mer Nope, 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 nope. We're out of here. Just take it. Take it, just get it out of the way. You can pick it up in a minute. This trash laying around here. Man. Definitely gonna have to write the former owner's letters. What is wrong with you people? Oof. See the front end come up there? Tires slipping a little bit. Oh, yeah, they're slipping. Need that front end mower on here. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can get through here. Can I get through here? I think I can get through here. And not leave enough space. Just don't hit the trailer. Okay. I think we're good. You know, there was a reason I parked it the way I did, because it helps to have this on the front before you hook up the <laughs> section on the back and you wind up, you know, nose light. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I had thought that through. All right. Is there any way? Please tell me there's a way. Let's find out if there's a way. No, don't do that. Do that. Please tell me. Is there a way? There's no way. Crap. Over here. Is there a way? Halt. Wait a minute. There is an... There is an app. Let's see here. Okay, there's an app. I think I've... Oh, I think I do have it. I'll have to look up what it is. It's hide stuff. I think I can hide these things. If I can hide these things, that'd be swell. I'll have to look that up, too. All right, let's 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 just pull stuff in here and park it. Wait. Back it in. Now you look over my shoulder and kind of see where I'm going. And that is not where we're. That is not where we're going. Yeah. All right. Now we're in the middle. Go left and forward. Go right and forward. There. Now. Back up. And straighten the wheel out. The question is, are we going to clear? Uh, we are not. Dang it. Well, so much for that thought. Alright, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, you can quit looking over your shoulder now, doofus. There you go. Thank you. Turn this off, too. That helps. Bay 4, please. Yeah, Bay 4. I missed it. That's okay. We got it. Ooh. 
Er, full stop. All right, switch to the rear one and Q. And now we pull forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Er, 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 back it up. There we go. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Very nice. Now, genius. That's figured out now. You're going to nose in and pick up the nose part first. Yeah. Now, select it with G, hit V, then hit Q. Q. Thank you. It took a second. Now, here comes the fun part. Maybe not. All right, so we need to go forward. And then you go this way. You go this way. And then you go this way. Nope. You go this way. And then you go this way. Now we need to go this way. Not the worst, not great, needs, needs improvement, I grade myself on that, nope, other way, needs improvement, yeah, you know what, I think this is a good sized trailer for hauling stuffs. Yeah, that's not a bad size trailer at all. It looks good too. Q. Alright. So gang. What do we think? New farm, new digs, new equipment. We're in pretty good shape here. Any questions? Uh Death Devil. So you switch, I see. Yes, I switch to FS22. Well, okay. This isn't a, necessarily a total switch, um, but yes, we have uh, gotten FS22 in the library and now we're playing FS22. Uh, I think I'm still gonna keep playing my county line play on FS19, uh, and we're gonna start a county line play on here on FS22, so. It is windy today. Ah, so there's our property. In case you guys missed it earlier, let's pull this up and we'll jump up and show you. Well, here, let's look at it on the map. So we are at, um, what is this, Gray, Graystone Farm, North Carolina, all right? And if you all missed it at the beginning, this is a real place in Rockingham County, North Carolina. The city of Eden is to our northwest, and then there's a little, little town to our south and then danville virginia is to the uh, north northeast about eight to ten miles we own this little plot here we could go ahead and buy 33 and 34 i suppose how much is that going to cost Thirty-one thousand. we could buy these two do we want them i don't know um ultimately i want this field and this field which that's a hundred and twenty thousand dollars but yeah i want those two as well because they're convenient and that that's part of the no man's land section of the map but uh yeah I, 29 would be nice to have too because that's the second biggest field on the map behind 36 which is just barely bigger barely bigger i don't think there's anything bigger than that no i think that's it those are the two biggest fields on the map. Yep. But we're going to, I think we're going to do some combining here. I think we're going to combine this field and this field. So that'll push that up to about six acres total, a little over six acres. 
Um, we'll keep this separate. This is two grass fields here and here, and then this field here. We could get these two and combine them. That would make sense. Yeah, why not? So, yeah. We got some work to do on the road, some mowing to do, and uh, lots of stuff to do. We need lime, we need plowing. Um, we were going to rent the liming stuff. We've got to harvest and mow grass. So we need a, we need the baler hoopa jupe. There's the metal roller. Oh, who knew? I don't know what the hell these are. Those are fancy. We could do grass bales with something like this. I don't think this is what we want. Yeah, this is just simple round grass. Is it round? Yes. 125 centimeter round grass bales. This one does 125 centimeter to 180. Ah, this one is variable size. I've watched video of one of these in real life. That's pretty cool. Dude was driving around his farm and talking on his video and uh, telling people about what he was doing and stuff. It was pretty cool. So that's not bad. Oh, this is the droid we are looking for. Not the same one, but that would do. That is what we're looking for, is a silage yeah this is the pottinger i wanted the um, massey ferguson i think we have a massey or we have a coon one or the other on the other farms these are all basically the same thing now here's an anderson bio baler what is this this looks simple That's only 125 centimeter, which I would guess is a four cubic meter bale. 4,000 liters. This is not, yeah, this is not what we're looking for. This makes the square bales, and I really don't want to mess with the square bales right now. Um, the Pottinger. I'm going to have to go find... Oh, this... Oh, that wraps for silage, too. I think... Yes, it does. Ooh, very nice. Vicon. I don't know where that's... All right. I'm going to go shop around and find a couple of those. So I need to look at windrowers because they don't have the one I'm looking for. They don't have the droid I'm looking for. That's 8.4 meters. It's 9.7. I don't really want to buy a crone. That's 14.7. That's too big. Um, this one is tops of the list but still isn't big enough. And that's too small. So we need to look at a couple more windrowers for the collection. We need uh, the baler that we want. And then we've got the mowers. Then we can look at cedars. We don't need a huge one. Keep that in mind. Like this, we don't need this monster or this monster. But this one we're used to working with, right? We don't need something that does 15 meters at a time. Although that would make fields quick and easy around here. That's 4 meters. That's cheap. That's not bad. That's 3 meters. That's no good. Wait. So this does wheat, oats, barley, canola, um, soybeans, uh, sorghum, oil seed radish, and grass. Of course we, yeah, we're starting to need. All right, this is like a two-piece deal here. So this is a cultivator and cedar in one so that's why it has the amazon um, 
basically it's almost like it's got this thing on top of something else so that's certainly something to consider this one's four meters this one's six meters oh that's not bad six meters that's good width the price isn't bad well that's a that's an extra tank i think that goes with this What is this okay this is four meters this is like two pieces what am i missing here of course there's the vaderstad which is eight meters that's one hundred sixty thousand dollars. i just don't okay btf four thousand Okay, so there's like two pieces of equipment put together here. I think this will work good. Excuse me. I'm about time to call it a night. Jeez. Um, yeah. So we may get one of those. And then we'll need like a field roller. I don't think we're going to do a planter just yet. Uh, we'll rent a fertilizer. We'll rent a weeder. And we rent a tether. So what we want to buy is a baler and a windrower. And then we'll rent the other stuff. Disc harrows. Those are the ones I like. But what I really want. No, that's not the button I wanted. Cultivators. Okay. So in here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where, where is the toy? Uh, some of these, I... Th oh, no, that's the cedars that cultivate as well. It's the Vaderstadt. See, it doesn't say as much on here as it did, as it did on the other one. Um, oh, here it does. It does. It, it's up at the top in the fine print. These machines are used to seed crops like wheat, barley, or canola. Additionally, this seeder offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. Now, there's a caveat to that, and that's in this version of the game. In, in, the, in FS22, you've got to plow occasionally because that digs up rocks, and you want to get the big rocks out of your field. Now, I don't know if they recur every so often or whatever, but yeah, so... This may wind up... Wait, do we have enough... Ugh. Yes, we do. We have 259 horsepower. That's good enough for 240. And everything around here is level ground. So, yeah. So we may get this. This one's cheaper. Six meters. And does the same thing. This one's cheaper. It's six meters. Does the same thing. This just goes two miles an hour faster. I'm not going to fret, and it's two meters wider. I'm not going to fret too much about that. I mean, look at the price difference here. This is 109,000. 4,000 liter capacity. I don't think you're going to need that for any of these fields. 210 horsepower. Six meter swath. Nine miles an hour speed. Okay. So six meters at nine miles an hour with 4,000. Here's six meters at 10 miles an hour with 5,500, but you got to have 270 horsepower. Then we drop back down to 240 horsepower for 3,100 3, liters, 8 meters wide, 11 miles an hour. This is reasonable, I think. See, that's just a cedar, but this, this gives you the cultivator capability, which means you can do two things at once. So I think I'm going to look at I want to study a little bit, watch a couple of videos about learning how the system works on FS22 with the field work because, you know, they've added steps in with the rocks and what have you. And so, yeah, I think that's going to be important to, before making a $110,000 purchase decision, um, let's think that through. So, okay, cool. So for now... 
guys, I think we're going to call it an episode. I think so. Um, somewhere along the way here, we're going to have to put in some water. We have fuel over there. We probably put a water thing over there to wash equipment. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, oh wait, let me let me do one more thing here before before you run off. Hang on, don't run off. All right, again, let's review our location here. So now here's our land. Now this is our land. Now we've picked up fields 33 and 34. All right, there's our land. Okay, so this is where we are, and then. Right up here is the um, shop, Methodist Church. It's a Methodist Church in real life. You'll see in a minute. Uh, Methodist Church, but on the map, we're going to call it the Methodist Church shop and um, sales point. And then Greystone Farm is actually this down here, as you'll see in a minute. Okay. So this is based on a uh, little area in rural North Carolina. Between, near near the city of Eden. It's about five, six miles south of the Virginia-North Carolina border. And so, uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. We have, oh, no. Oh, no, we have cotton, oh, which we can make good money on. It's growing. It's not ready to harvest yet. 32 is ready to harvest. That's soybeans. Wheat. Okay, that's fine. And then the grass is ready to go. So we got to get, get the grass squared away. Um, so, yeah. And then we got to see when we can plant stuff or whatever because it's seasons. It's, it's Wait, is that it is grass? It's got to be grass, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's... There you go. There's grass. So, that works. And that's ready to harvest. <laughs> grass, ready to harvest. Who knew? Uh, we do have a field that's harvested. That's good. And then we can pick up some contracts and do some do some stuffs and what have you. So, um, before we get away from this, let's do this. If I click that, and then I go to this and click that and click and put this right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Click this, click this, get this off the screen. All right. Back to Google Maps. This is where we are. This is our, our farm. Okay. This is this is the building we were just working in right here. You see, there's the there's the house, and here's that little other building, and although the road, does, well, it kind of just kind of a track there. It's not as developed as he has it on the game, so we may downgrade it to some dirt. But this this driveway here certainly is gravel, and then actually it comes in from this way over here, from the main road, and then we go over here. And here is Mount Carmel and the United Methodist Church and shop and sales point <laughs> and silos. <laughs> that, that, that's where the shop is, it's that spot right there. So this is our farm and the shop is right there. So that's uh, that's the place in real life. So it's made made based on a real map. And then if we put pan out, there's Greystone Farm. So the actual map area is about this right here. Uh, up in the upper right, it cuts off before you get to Oregon Hill. Hey, all right, Death Devil, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Or sleep well. Uh, and then we cut off here at the bottom left just past Greystone Farm. Because if you play the uh, new farmer mode, you'll get this farm right here. Oh, actually, you get this right here. I'm sorry. And then you get these little far fields back up in here. And this is the edge of the map. So some of those are like narrow slits um and then here you get this field here and then you get this schmutz over here so that's if you play new farmer mode all right but this is actual graystone farm right here the little riding ranch and stuff like that all right so let's pull back and you'll see lots of churches and lots of farmland 
Um, the town of, oops, something froze on me. There it goes. Reedsville is to our south. All right, so look at Greystone Farm. Okay, Reedsville is to our south, about five miles. Eden is to our northwest, about five, six miles or so. And then uh, right there's the Virginia border. And then here's uh, Danville, Virginia. And that looks like kind of the biggest town of the three. So we're kind of right between that little triangle of towns there. So now you can see Reedsville here, Eden here, Danville here. Here's Oregon Hill, and that means we're right here, Greystone Farm. So there you go. That's where we are. Now, we pan out some more. Here's Martinsville, Virginia, which is where the NASCAR races happen. And then down to our south, you see Greensboro, North Carolina. And then you go Graham. And then there's Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill. The Technology Triangle, which is homes for North Carolina, University of North Carolina. Uh, Duke University is in Durham, right? Dukey. Yep, Duke University. Well, Duke University Hospital. Duke Medical Pavilion, Duke University, Dukey, <laughs> Carolina beach you, <laughs> uh, and then uh, Chapel or uh, Raleigh, which is where uh, North Carolina State is, I think, right? NC State, or is it Wake Forest? There's Wake Med. Uh, oh, it's Wake County. Oh, yeah, so it may be Wake Forest. So, yeah. So that's where we are. All right? Cool. Now you guys know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So, I want to thank everyone for uh, coming along for the ride. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, are enjoying some FS-22 with A-Train. Our new little uh, outro thing here. Little screen here. I kind of like it. I worked hard on that last night. Make it pretty. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. And I uh, hope you'll give us a like. Hope you share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about Farming Simulator Family of Games. Now available on Steam. This is FS22. We play FS19 as well. But this is our first FS22 uh, playthrough. So, we're going to have some fun with this map. We did three and a half hours on it tonight. Jeez. But we got our equipment. That means we can get the farming next time. And we're going to have some busy work. We got to mow all the grass, get that bailed up. We got um, the uh, wheat field to harvest. Another one of the fields is about ready to harvest. And so then we got to start turning the fields around. Uh, probably plant wheat through the winter. And we'll see how the uh, cycles work for all that and stuff. Because the game starts in August. So you're harvesting stuff, which I suppose makes sense because then you can make some money from the get-go. But uh, we're going to have to find some alternative options for uh, income. So uh, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. And uh, also... Join us on Discord. There is a link in the description below to with an invite to our Discord page where you can see my uh, Steam library, Tower 3D Pro library, make game requests, uh, talk about this and other games. Okay, And um, also, your donations are greatly appreciated and accepted at the PayPal link in the description below. So we appreciate you helping support the channel and the guys who uh, helped us actually get the game and what have you. Appreciate you all. So... Uh, thanks for being here, everyone, and I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.